Uh, we live? 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 Seems good. Uh, let's continue with some Calamity. And where were we last? I think we just killed Duke Fisher on... Well, not the first time. We killed Duke a few times. We've now got the Bubble Gun, Razor Blade, Typhoon, Tsunami, and the Tempest, and the Wings. So basically everything, actually. Uh, come to think of it, I was going to do some building uh, of stream, but the Solar Eclipse showed up, so I kind of sort of killed them a little bit. I happen to have a... What was it? Rage Potion? No, I keep misremembering what it's called. Um, it is... One of the Calamity Potions. It's like a stronger battle potion. Zerg Potion? Zerg Potion. I actually had a Zerg Potion active when the... Uh, uh, when the... Solar Eclipse started, so that was interesting. Um, so for now, what's our next target? I should probably do some of that building while I think about it. Let's grab ourselves some stone slab. If I can find it. Stone slab. Fantastic. It's only 300. Let's grab some more. And stand closer to this heavy workbench only. There we go. I might just turn this whole half a stack of stone into stone slab so we don't have to come back for more. Um, I need to do more fishing quests if I ever want to see a cell phone. So let's do that. Taking its sweet time. Is 2,000 going to be enough? Probably. Gonna make a nice wizard tower in the hallow. Let's make it 3k. And we'll start with this. Um, I think where they are right now would be a good spot for the base of it. So let's maybe stick with that. We've got a hell of a lot of pumpkins right now. Uh, that lines up perfectly... Well, reasonably well with the... With the stone slabs. With the texture, that is. Is there anything I should be doing during a storm? Not particularly, I don't think so. Other than... Grabbing... Uh, Waterleaf, except I think we're, like, very far ahead on Waterleaf. 400 or so. Sure, why not? All of the Waterleaf, please. And plant. Uh, I need to quick stack this stuff. And then... Back over here. So I want it to be fairly tall. And we'll have the pylon in the middle, probably at the top. Uh, maybe down below, actually. Maybe where it is. Uh, 
Oops, that's fine. And we need some background walls. That might be enough. Maybe I should make it a bit taller. We'll see. I want to get some cactus walls. And we're going to use brown paint to make it look like wood. And that's the best uh, background support beam looking thing that I've found for this. Yeah, I think we definitely want to go a bit taller, but let's grab that cactus first. Uh, cactus... there's only 116. And where's our painter? Down here. Down we go. Whoops. Oh, that's a lot of... wow, it actually does a 7x7? Seven is this, um, does this have something to do with Calamity? Or did we just leave it for that long? I'm thinking Calamity has something to do with how much Chlorophyte we've got available now with our farms. Um, alright, so, what was I doing? Brown paint. Brown paint. There it is. It's probably enough. And I want it to look a little something like... Where's our cactus wall? This. Oh, hello. You should probably not leave the door open at night. That's suboptimal. There we go. Where are we going? Back up here. And we're just going to paint that brown. It looks quite a lot like a wooden beam. And then we can have stairs in front of it, unlike the regular wooden beams. Alright, up we go, a bit higher. How high should we go? All the way to space? No, probably not. I'm thinking about here is pretty good, actually. Let's do some... Well, I don't actually have any stone platforms available right now. Let's go grab some stone brick, I think. Grey brick. Oh, here we go, stone platform. Have some leftovers lying around. I'll take the grey brick as well. And platform about here. And then... I probably want to get some rune walls or something for the wizard's place up the top, but I won't worry about it just yet. Let's just finish this. Also, did we kill Plantera? I think we did. So I should be able to find some prismatic lace wings now? Or did we already find those? Prismatic lace wing? We actually do have three of them. Okay. I'd like to get a few more before I make a run at that boss. So that if we fail or bail we can try again straight away. Um, what hook do I have? Dual hook. That's not so helpful right now. 
I don't know if I have a ice rod stash to... Oh, that is a mess. Yeah, inventory is looking a bit bad. Why don't we fix it? Um, first of all, Philosopher's Stone, Quick Stack. Uh, I'll quick stack all this other stuff for the moment as well. And I'm carrying way too much. Oh, we're doing summoner right now. That's why. Uh, let's see. I don't want to... You know what? I never end up using this when I have a, a different mount in my... in my piggy bank, so I'm just gonna stack it away somewhere. Only need one of these. I'll take that one. I'll take that piggy. Fantastic. And it's a material. We can make bacon out of it. We can just buy bacon whenever we want, pretty much. Um, I'm carrying not many night crawlers right here in my inventory. Angler vest? We've already got that. Oh, we've got... This is like the third spare angler vest. I'm just going to sell it. Defender medals do not go in here. I don't really care about the dead man's sweater. But we can collect it, I guess. Wand of Sparking? Oh, it's a material? Who knows, maybe that'll end up being like the copper sword that goes into uh, the legendary final sword. The solar eclipse is happening. Alright, let's do it. Um, give me a second to set up my minions. Oh no. Uh, let's see, we want... We want one of these, and then one of these. I think our limit is eight, or is it nine? It's nine with a summoning potion, I think. So one, two... Wait, I don't see the second minion. There it is. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe? Let's go three bats. Seems good. Oh, that's bad. Let's teleport out of that. Nice. Should we go for... I don't want to go for a Rage Potion, partly because it's just a little expensive. Uh, but let's go for a Battle Potion. Also, I forgot I'm manually doing mana with this build. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. That's super bad timing. Wow. I guess we're not buying a battle potion this time. Bow for direct damage. Ouch. And you're done, Ski. What do we get? Mothron wings. Nice. And we're getting Solar Veils, which is one of the materials that we've been sort of looking forward to. Some of the stuff we can make. But I don't know if it's enough by itself. I need to be a little bit more careful. Summoner really is very, very good for these, uh, invasion events. Especially when you've got 
Calamity Summon. pretty smoothly so far. Did I use all my buffs? I did not. We probably don't need to. Although we can just buy all of this, right? Maybe not the life force potion? I don't remember if we can buy that now. Fiftieth Deadly Sphere is down. What is this? Defective Sphere. Rogue damage. Stealth Strikes launch all four Sphere types at once. Interesting. Um, could you stop chasing me, please? Thank you. Please and thank you. There we go. Uh, I think we're at the point, combat prog progression-wise, where we need to go to the dungeon post-Plantera, right? shouldn't use the bubble gun against the nail head. Oh yeah, I forgot about this weapon. Kind of effective against enemies in a line. Shlurpus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, what was the last boss you killed? I think it was Plantera uh, in this save. I've been doing some practice in a vanilla, uh, what's it called? Journey world. Uh, I've been killing Duke Fishron without any hard mode gear except for Wings and Crystal Storm. Surprisingly, the media armor is actually the best you can do for damage for quite a while. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I like put it on, I put god mode on so that I could learn his movement patterns without, you know, getting deleted and having to start over. And once you learn, once you learn the steps of that dance, it's a lot easier to say the least. I'm not consistent at it yet, but I can kill him with just media armor. The, uh, after that, uh, after using invulnerability to learn his movement patterns, using adamantite armor, uh, I actually got him first try. So I want to, I want to get to the point where my standard for hard mode is Duke Fish run first. time is it? 11.26. The solar eclipse lasts, I mean the day lasts a lot longer than the night, so the solar eclipse is a bit of a marathon. I don't suppose our, no it'll be, I don't know when our uh, arms dealer is going to respawn actually. I don't think I have any battle potions stashed away, probably should. I think if you don't use the summoner weapon, the minion damage is significantly reduced. 
You mean like a whip? The Razor Blade Typhoon just does a lot though. And I don't necessarily want the uh I don't necessarily want the minions all focusing one thing. Yeah, and the two special ones? The two special ones. I don't know... I don't know of these. I, I hate Terraria's sticky weapons when you're trying to switch. I, I let go of attack and clicked again like four times trying to switch off of the adamantite particle accelerator there. I don't think I've seen a single other game that does that either. It also gets you killed when you're trying to switch to like potion or magic mirror to port home. You are a fan of mixed combat, so all good. Yeah, I do like, uh, I do like a bit of hybrid. I'm really surprised at how, um, the media armor, this is in vanilla, but the media armor that you get, like, what, halfway through pre-hard mode, uh, is the best way to deal damage. For, quite, for a surprisingly long time in hard mode. It, uh, it adds up to 28... no, 27% extra magic damage. And then, of course, on top of that, you can use a magic power potion. No crit bonus, but damage is more consistent. Unless I'm up against, like, the Dungeon Guardian, I prefer straight damage to crit most of the time. If I, if I can take one or the other, like, uh, rolling accessories, I'll definitely take damage over crit. There's still more four more minutes. Solar eclipse is too long, man. Maybe I should have got the Zerg potion. I didn't really have time to grab it. If I grab it now, it's definitely a waste. It's not so much the damage from the summons, it's the way they keep everything busy. Like, they keep everything in check that's trying to attack you. I was really surprised at how much damage I was able to squeeze out of the Crystal Storm as well. Uh, so you need the Wizard, so you can get a Spell Tome. You need Souls of Light, I think, and some Crystal Shards. And that's all it takes to get the weapon that you're going to kill Duke Fishron with. Hello? 
I would like it if... I, I sort of wanted Crystal Assassin armor to be what I ended up using to kill Duke early, but for one thing, you may have to be lucky to get the summons to get Queen Slime, but more to the point, uh, it does less damage and than the Meteor armor, and the main thing is Shield of Cthulhu. Um... Shield of Cthulhu carries Duke Fisher on his attacks um, if you slam into him, and that's actually kind of necessary for the final phase. You can uh, dodge every single attack that he does in that phase, but it's so much easier and you get a bit more damage on him to just slam into him for one of this, uh, one of the one or two of the dodges. As long as you know the timing, because he goes one one dash, two dash, three dash after each teleport. Uh, uh, he, he teleports, dashes once, teleports, dashes twice, teleports, dashes three times. And if you don't know that timing and just try to react to it, uh, you'll probably end up caught. Like you'll dodge one attack and get hit by the next. Um, but if you know the timing, you know exactly when you've got time between attacks, uh, especially to swap gravity so you don't run out of space. And then the first phase is like still pretty easy, even with, even if you're a super class cannon, uh, as long as you manage your spacing well. So, like, get as far away as possible when he's doing the homing... the homing bubbles that cause the Sharknadoes. Uh... And just generally do a big circle. And you will probably... probably not end up in trouble... Uh, with the Sharknadoes getting in the way. And you can actually still survive, like, a few hits, or a couple of hits at least, on Master. Like, getting better armor doesn't make that much of a difference against Duke Fishron. You really just need damage. Um, alright, so let's put away whatever we can. I've definitely got no need for Butcher's accessories. Five, plus five defense, plus five percent increased damage. That's nice. If I didn't have fish run wings, I would probably go for that. Oh, and it's a material. Or are all wings materials? I think they are. Any wings, yep. Okay. Um, so I was probably gearing up with, I was probably gearing up with summon stuff because I was going to go into the dungeon, and or just because it's kind of easy to roam around with when we're just chilling. Uh, I don't need any more toxic flasks, I don't think. I think I have like one or two, well, whatever, we're quick stacking. Ritz Banner? Do I already have that? Yeah, I do. It's on the wall. Uh, I'll put the Mothron wings away. And... Dead Man's chest can go in here, I guess. Um, I don't really feel like building right after that, so let's jump in into... well, first let's finish fixing our inventory, I guess. Um, I think we've already got a bunch of these. Let's sell that. Neptune's Shell and Moonstone, we definitely have somewhere. I 
I don't particularly... I could maybe go for a change in aesthetic. This is kind of spooky, actually. <laughs> Whatever, we're doing this. Let's put the shadow die away. And I'll keep the rune robe and hat in here, because I like it. Uh, I'm not going to wear the Dr. Manfly mask, though. Oh, uh, I will sell it, however. We got some more broken swords, chainsaws, nail gun. I don't think I had a nail gun from the last one. Uh, bat hook, I think I already stacked this away somewhere. Definitely already have a psycho knife. And we can upgrade it with obsidian, iron, and plague cell canisters. Eight damage? That doesn't sound like an upgrade. When hitting a boss, mini boss, or their minions, you gain various boosts and cripple the enemy hit. A knife from an unknown world. An owner whose heart is pure and free of taint. A heart of iron and valor. I wonder what that's referencing. Uh, we don't need any more chainsaws. Should I do something with the broken hero swords already? Uh, Terror Blade is still a material. Zenith, that's what I was looking for. We need Auric Bars as well as all of the swords. Whatever, I'm just stacking this away for the moment. Uh, I don't think I have a nail gun in here. Now that we do have a nail gun, I can just buy ammo for it, but... Uh, but the arms dealer is dead, because a moth came in at the worst possible time. So, I'll put the nail gun around here for now. Piranha gun on the wall tells us uh, that we've definitely killed Plantera. And this is a material. I guess I'll hold on to it. Alright. What else have we got? It. Some steak. Uh, a whole lot of banners. And I'll throw the extra one in here. Psycho banner? Sure. Oh, we do have nails. I thought it was weird that we had the nail gun, but not nails. Where did I put it? Here it is. So we could obviously upgrade this, and we're not wearing ranger gear right now, but... That doesn't seem like the worst DPS. Where did my nail gun just... Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Uh, Eamks4, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. 3 or 4k DPS, uh, that's actually pretty good, if we're hitting lots of stuff. Oh, I know what I want to do next, I want the Frost Moon, so we can get the homing rockets. Um, but before we do that, we need Ectoplasm, so we can summon it. Steak is just going to go in here with miscellaneous food. We've emptied this. We were in the middle of sorting this. Don't need a horseshoe. Don't need... Uh, I might keep the arctic diving gear in here because... Abyss. <laughs> Don't need bottles in here. Don't need a chest in here. Alright, that's looking a bit more organized. And lucky horseshoe. Did I slash can I make one of these yet? Celestial stone. I need a sunstone. 
which we need to do the temple for. Should I do the temple before the dungeon? Uh, let's get a sense of how how scary the dungeon is. Where did my magnet sphere go? Did I only have one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? I think we can do nine minions. So why do I only have this many after presumably my potion buff wore off? Thank you for the follow. May I ask you about a few things? Sure, definitely. Um, let's get rid of our minions and count, make sure we know how many we can have. Alright, so we have one to start with, two, three, plus four from the uh, tiki set, which is seven, eight, nine. And this doesn't actually give minion plus minions, but it does give minion damage. So yeah, we should be able to have eight minions without the summoning potion. Uh, I will go grab some summoning potions, though. Give me all of them, please. Fantastic. That was maybe a few too many. It's fine. Uh, we're just swimming in money all the time, so whatever. I think wrath potions actually do affect minion damage. 66... 70. Yeah, they do. So I think I will carry these as a summoner. Usually summons can't crit, so we're not going to take rage potions. Uh, I'm not using any melee, so imbue wouldn't matter. And then... I think we're set. What are you selling? We've got plenty of those. Thorns Potion. I don't want to go too overboard with how many potions I carry into the dungeon. Um, Alright, this seems fine. Do we have an arms dealer? We do not. Sad. Uh, we've got Potion of Omniscience, that includes all that. Alright, I think we're fine here for now. Does the Clothier sell? He does sell golden keys, but I don't think we need them at this stage. You guys don't sell potions, do you? Building potions. I'm just getting reacquainted with the... Uh, calamity potions and NPCs and stuff. I remember the pirate doesn't sell anything. Uh, you definitely sell some interesting stuff, but I don't need any more of it right now. And lastly, I know the golfer doesn't sell anything. What's our fishing quest right now? Surface and underground. Let's go. I got silver armor and an enchanted sword. Now I'm lost and every single YouTube video doesn't explain how to progress correctly. I just want to know what I should do next to, to defeat my first boss. Okay, so I presume this is in vanilla. Um, if you get your hit point maximum up to 200 by breaking... Uh, what are they called? Heart statues? Not heart statues. Heart crystals? It's a big red heart, like, sitting on the ground. And you can break it with, I think, a pickaxe. I think you used to need a hammer, but they changed that. Um, yeah, that'll give you plus 20 on your maximum health. And once your maximum health is 200, uh... I think it's a 33% chance every night that a boss may appear. Um, so you want to try to be ready for that, but I, if you like, I won't spoil that any further. 
Life Crystal, yes. Yeah, once you get a uh, Life Crystal, once you get your max health to 200, uh, the first boss will want to show up 33% chance every night. Um, eventually, you'll get slime is falling from the sky, and if you kill enough slimes, uh, it'll summon a different early boss. And there's also, if you look in chests underground, uh, occasionally you will find, uh, what is it called? Suspicious looking eye. That'll also summon, like, the first boss. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do I have bait? I don't have bait. Uh, let's grab some journeyman bait. Got plenty of that. Do I have potions for fishing? I have a lot of potions for fishing. But if I'm doing a quest, I just want to be in and out. And not feel like I have to spend eight minutes to get the value from it. Jimbo Panda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Try talking to the guide. Yeah, anytime you see something that says material, show that to the guide and he'll tell you everything that you can craft with it. And if you click this thingy, you get a better display if there's lots of stuff uh, that you need to craft, that, that you can craft from the material that you have. I'll be here watching you every day. Well, thank you. When do you stream? Like, what time? Uh, I just started uh, 40 minutes ago. And Monday and Tuesday for me. This is Monday. Uh, I do Terraria. And for... What is it? Seven hours? Alright, we got our fishing quest done. We didn't get anything special this time. Let's go stack our stuff away, and I guess it's onto the dungeon now? Oh, that's right, I was about to check. Alright, so we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 max minions, I believe. 1, uh, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that works. All right, cool. And away we go. Potion powers activate. Did we already get stuff from the dungeon? No, I think this was hard mode without the ectoplasm. That we already looted the dungeon. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> that was brutal. Bubbles go burr. Oh, I ran out of mana. That's the thing I have to get used to with this build, not having auto mana consumption. Although most of the time we don't need it because they drop uh, mana stars. I think I remember Magnet Sphere gets upgraded in this. Yeah. Thanks in the morning here, but I love the game. I will wake up and come. Glad to have you. Hope you enjoy. It is a great game. And one of the best value games I've ever bought.
War pre hard mode. Uh, or was it early hard mode? No, I think that was a pre hard mode enemy getting one shot. Um, I probably sh no. I don't need a Zerg potion in the dungeon. The dungeon's spawn rate is high enough. We're not going to get that overconfident. How much ectoplasm do we have? Sixteen already. That's not bad. really have a lot of hit points. That sounds like a bad idea, yes? Yeah, you don't say. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to see how well our summons hold up against, like, the maximum spawn rate we could get in here. They're doing an excellent job of suppressing which is the main thing that you need in the dungeon. Just scratch those enemies that teleport and deal massive damage unless you deal one damage to them first. Probably the worst class... Well, I don't know about the rogue class, but... Without Calamity classes, uh... Probably the worst class you could be coming into here is... Ranger. So I think Calamity changes it so that it doesn't matter what depth you're at in the dungeon, that everything will spawn. Uh, and frankly, I quite appreciate that. Meloxel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got the tactical shotgun. Oh, it's a material now. I was going to say, is it relevant now that we've got Tsunami, but, um, maybe. I should do a DPS test. It's also both of them are materials now. We've got something called the Conference Call. We can upgrade it with Vortex Fragments, and that's still a material. And it says, at everyone, lol. <laughs> Wait, at everyone? What is it gonna do? I feel like it's gonna do something weird. True melee seems tough, uh, as in using melee weapons only? Probably. It depends. I did, um, with my first arenalist run, I was on expert difficulty, and I used melee to kill, uh, the Moon Lord. And it was actually shocking how good a tank build was. But the same thing didn't work on Master. You're much better off... Uh, most boss fights, you're a lot better off being a glass cannon. In Master difficulty, because they're just going to hit so hard anyway. That you need to make sure you only get hit a few times. The arms dealer is back. Should we get a battle potion? We've got 45 uh, ectoplasm. I would like to speed that up a bit. Also, let's re-up our buffs. Especially the one that keeps our minion active. Oh, he sells the Uzi. And it's a material now. And you combine it with... a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's go back to the dungeon. Actually, let me quick stack what I can. Where did my minions go? What? Why? 
okay. We've still got the one that I would have to go back for. That was weird. The juggles between the Razor Blade Typhoon and a bunch of minions. The enemies are just never touching the ground. True melee just damages via the blade swing. Okay. So when it's so when calamity says true melee damage, does that mean uh, you can't do it with things like discs or sword beams and stuff? Okay, that makes sense. I think in some other games, true damage is just meant ignores all defense. But I guess this is that and also... It actually has to be melee is what that means. Because a lot of the time, this game has a funny idea of what melee means. I guess we can have a banner as a treat. We've already put one here. True melee equals damage from the sword. Melee damage equals sword beams and other thrown stuff. Alright. So any melee weapon, almost, can do true melee damage? It sounds like. What is... oh. Kinda looks different somehow. Could, could you... there we go. Alright, I want, like, I was going to say I want 100 ectoplasm, but I think we actually quick stacked it earlier. So I think we've actually got a lot more than it looks like. I'll just keep going until some of these buffs run out, and we'll head back. What do we got, four minutes on the battle potion? Where's the summoning potion? I don't see it, actually. Should probably get rid of these spikes. Get out of here. One damage, though? Okay. Ouch. That's 34. We actually got a shot off, that's not great. Oh, 
Alright, um, I'm not gonna worry too much about getting max value out of a potion I can just buy, actually. Give me all the ectoplasm on the screen, though. Alright, back we go. Two hundred percent extra damage burst if you don't get hit for thirty seconds or so during boss fight. Interesting. All right, let's put this stuff away, and I think we have ectoplasm over here somewhere. Post hard mode calamity. Post hard mode. Oh, hard mode vanilla. Here it is. One hundred and ninety-two ectoplasm. Okay, that's. More than I expected. Um, I think I already have a wisp in a bottle. Let's sell this. Sell the Kraken. We don't need keys, and even if we did, we could just buy them. Bone wand? I'm never going to use this, but I'll put it in the building stuff. And I think we already have a key brand lying around. Apparently not. Let's just throw that in the collection. And empty this. I think we got a menacing and a warding black belt. So we probably don't need to worry about that too much. Although, now that I think of it... Um, It's a material as well. We just need phantoplasm, whatever that is. Overloaded soldier, phantom spirit, and poltergast. Okay. Uh, the tactical shotgun, I want to test. Shinobi blades are ridiculously common. We're going to sell those. Don't really need an angry bones banner. Uh, I think I already had a rocket launcher, and I'm holding onto it so that we can make this upgraded thing. Let's upgrade our tactical shotgun. And I do want to compare it to the tsunami. Um, minions? No. Bad. I need some bullets, though. Bullets. Damn it. It's so hard to see what's going on. Too many minions. Get out of here. Alright. Where is my bullet pouch? Here it is. So we're gonna go... Just basic arrows and basic musket pouches. Uh, bullet... Uh, musket balls. I need to make sure they all hit. We're looking at about 2k DPS. It barely dipped below it. Call it maybe 2100 average. And the tactical shotgun doesn't even compare. It's like half a tsunami, if that. Good to know. Still, half a tsunami is nothing to scoff at, but considering. I don't think the tactical. Does the tactical skeleton appear before Plantera is killed? We can use homing bullets with this, but I don't think that makes up the difference. Yeah. Uh, with how much better I'm getting at killing Duke, uh, the tactical is just kind of looking irrelevant at this point. Which kind of makes it funny that I was sad that I couldn't get it last playthrough. 
Um, I don't need the millionth pair of... Actually, you know what? Give me a couple of these now that we can just buy them. I'll, I'll make a couple of spare black belts. I mean, ninja gears. Blue armored bones banner. And inventory is clean. Just about. Spikes go in here. Shotgun goes here. Axe goes here. Coffee goes here. No? Let's stack it in here. Alright, so we have all the ectoplasm that we'll ever need, I hope. Uh, I want to make Pumpkin Moon Medallion and Naughty Present. I need silver, silk, gold, and pumpkins. Where did I put the pumpkins? Uh, platinum counts as gold. Silver or tungsten. And silk. Do I have a bunch of silk? I think I have it in here because it can make mollies or something. And we're making... Uh, where is it? I don't need a demon altar, do I? Mithril anvil? Did I miss something? Oh, the ectoplasm. The thing that we were just farming. Alright, pumpkin moon medallion. Naughty present. Let's go. I think it, both of these have to be at night. And it's 6am right now. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, let's do some fish... What did that say? Fish Ron. Oh no. Caught in underground hallow. If I swap these out, we're gonna lose minion count. So why don't we change it? Uh, like this. I, I don't even have a minion out right now, never mind. Unless you count this one, which does count. Post Plantera Dungeon. Yeah, that's what I thought. I need bait. Uh, Journeyman is incredibly common. Glimmering Gemfish. Oops. I should probably go ahead and collect our Chlorophyte as well. Armored Digger has a- whoa, 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 what? Um, okay, fine. I'll spend my buff potions. 60,000 hit points. Should probably try to pay attention as well. Now you're dead. What did we get? Demonic Bone Ash, I think we had that already. Dubious plating and mysterious circuitry. So we do get that in infinite supply eventually. Uh, Rip Tavern Keep and Demolitionist, though. Alright, can we finish this fishing quest? I think I just missed my cue to reel it in as well. Poor Chaos Elemental can't even touch me with this one summon. Well, I guess I do have some summoner gear on, but I don't know... 
Oh, I know what it is. Uh, stimulants give more knockback. What the heck is that? Perennial slime. Well, that was different. Perennial ore. Wait, what? Did it say ore or ooze? Perennial ore. Okay. Post-Plantera Calamity kind of interesting, though. We're just trying to vibe and pick up a fish down here. Um, did I somehow miss... Am I in the wrong biome, or did I miss the quest or something? Let's check. There are not enough villages. <laughs> Alright, quest. Caught in underground tundra. I did misread it. I think as it was pinkish, I thought it would be underground hallow. Um, a lot of the time I have the snow pile on, I just like refurbish an underground house that's already there. Because it's not that often we have to come to the tundra on the surface actually. Maybe I should do that. How much space do we have? Plenty. I should probably summon things. Alright, we're looking for a fishing spot. I think I have wet bombs actually. I could make a fishing spot wherever I want, almost. But we only need like 300 tiles of water. Let's make this the spot, nice and easy to reach. And we've got some kind of ghost thing, ice clasper, coming through the walls at us. Ancient ice chunk. I swear you lose breath way faster in Calamity. Probably have done this to start with. Much better. You also dig a lot faster in Calamity. Let's go. This is probably already 300 tiles of water, but I'll let this down as well. Alright. That should be more than enough. Uh... Here we go with the fishing. And there's our quest fish, immediately. Uh, Alright, let's make some room. Don't know why it didn't go to my... Oh, don't tell me it was already in the void bag. No? Doesn't look like it. I'll take that resource that I haven't seen before just recently. I guess the perennial slimes are going to be all over the place now. Alright, let's quick stack what we can. And... including this. Get our fishing gear stowed away. And in the quest. And we still just get how many quests have I done? 19? That's actually hardly any. 
I think we need about 50 to almost gold, uh, guarantee the golden fishing rod. But what I'm really interested in is just the cell phone, to be honest. And the one accessory that does all of the fishing things would be nice. Alright. So where were we? Uh, we have our ectoplasm. We have... Don't tell me I'd already made this. I had. Welp. Next boss is Gollum? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh yeah, I need to find the, uh... I need to find the temple. I thought it would be here, but it doesn't look like it. The temple should be quite large, right? So either here, or here, or even down here. Um, I want to do the Frost Moon. Should I stick with Summoner for the Frost Moon? No, there's lots of big single targets. Uh, like, we end up spending all of our time hitting big single targets. So, I'm gonna put the Summoner gear away for now. And we're gonna grab... Uh, ranger or mage? Probably ranger. Or I could even go crystal assassin, so we have both. What's our best? Pretty much it's still hallowed. Oh wait, do we have access to shroomite yet? Uh, I think so. Yeah, we've got the hammer right here. How much better is Shroomite? I've only got 150 Chlorophyte Ore, so we probably don't have enough. But I can go get it immediately. 37, that's not so good. And we need... 12 plus 24, 36 plus 18. Also, we can make weapons with it. Sniper Rifle plus Vortex Fragment plus Shroomite equals probably just bigger Sniper Rifle. Unless. Powerful Homing Mushroom. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, please. Pearl God. I don't know where to get Cursed Kappa. Pulse Bow? Oh, we can make that right now. 108 range damage. Just shoots a charged arrow. Uh, sure. I'm running out of time if I'm going to make the most of the knight, though. How do I make it? Oh, here it is. Um, Let's get our ranger gear on. I think I do want to go for Crystal Assassin right now. Give me that movement and DPS. We've got uh, Ninja Gear so that we can resist one hit every once in a while. Oh, it bounces and pierces? Well, that has its uses. I don't think I'll be using it right now, though. Um, we've got one minute to prepare. Oh no. Let's see, crystal assassin gear, ranger emblem. I never did combine the rifle scope. I need the destroyer emblem. We need golem for that. Uh, I guess we could go double... Double Quiver? Give me Menacing. There we go. 
And what should go in this accessory slot? Probably balloons, since I can't think of anything else right now. Where are my balloons? Oh no, that's right. I upgraded... I upgraded... Um, my balloons into the mother of all balloons. Which counts as wings, therefore we can't have that and wings. Which sucks. Uh, do we have a balloon? Apparently not. Okay, maybe I should just put something else instead of... Instead of this. Charm of Myths. Couldn't hurt to have one defensive item. Oh, Avenger Emblem. Even more damage. Why not? Let's go. And I don't even care that it's a Blood Moon right now. Let's go... Naughty Present. Actually, I should have got more buffs. Oh well, I was in a hurry. Um, so yeah, we've, we've got a lot of specifically ranged damage, but still, for things like this, the Razor Blade Typhoon is fine. But when we go this big single target things coming at us, uh, we're going to switch to the bow. Oh, uh, let's use the good arrows, actually. There we go. Very good. Also, I just realized uh, we've kind of got a redundant dash. Oh well. I do like the movement from the Crystal Assassin gear. screen go boom. I could use this as well. Santa is really dangerous. As a matter of fact. I should probably have the mini-map on so I can see where he is. Yeah, that's a bad idea, dodging around at about the same spot. I need some heals. 37 seconds. Is he dead? I probably should have gone hallowed here. It's not too late. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Holy crap. Why can he do that? Holy crap. I don't think I have a chance to swap. We'll be slightly slower, but we'll have another invulnerability if I go the hallowed gear. Oh my god, the damages. The main thing is to keep moving in an arc around him. And there's another one already. What if we just try to stay away from it for a while? Ow! Maybe I should be using homing bullets or something. Well, we can't use bullets with arrows, with bows. More razor blade typhoon then.
And that one's less scary, actually. Okay, 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 okay. It went through the tree! Oh my god, I can't even change direction. Holy... Wow, how much range do those bullets have? How about no? What time is it? We've still got like four more minutes of this. Can we swap armor? Nope, not quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Is he gonna stay on that height? Apparently not. Oh, he can fall through those platforms. Can I close this door? Alright, give me... give me these boots. Oh my god, holy crap. Nope, 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 nope. We finally got the hallowed armor on though, so we have an invulnerability on top of the dodge. That's going to add up to a lot, because we keep getting big single hits, like that one. Santa OP, right? He's still in the base, and he's shooting through the walls. How am I supposed to get him now? I mean, I could go somewhere else, fight a different Santa. That's probably the way to go. Let's go over to the corruption. Stop getting our NPCs killed. I think the bow is not necessarily the way to go because I have to be relatively precise with the aim. I mean, the damage is great, but... If I had something like Mega Shark, only a bit stronger, I could use explosive bullets. Or I could just do this. This is working now. Okay, that's what we're looking for. This is what we came here for. Ice Queen. Oh yeah, we can... I was gonna say we can reverse gravity, but no. I didn't even come that prepared. King Slime has awoken? Okay. I think you're punching above your weight joining in this event, King Slime. Can we... Can we get her down, please? There we go. And we got a good weapon, but not the one I'm looking for. There's no suppressing Santa. I'm, I'm not shocked by this, but still. To the skies. What time is it? We've got like 10 seconds to kill her. I think she's gonna fly away. Still 20,000 hit points to go. No, come back! Well, that went kind of poorly. I did kill one Ice Queen, but I didn't get the drop that I really wanted. Alright, let's tidy up, shall we? Random Spelunker Potion? That's probably from Slime. Why is it still raining? Did we not kill King Slime? He smelled blood, right? We got... Christmas tree sword. Let's put the crystal assassin gear away.
It's just not as good as I want it to be. Uh, Crystal Assassin shirt. I do wish the game had more decent hybrid gear. I mean, it's decent, but like, it's so hard to compete with become immune after striking an enemy. What do we got? Four blood orbs, because it was the blood moon. Uh, Christmas tree sword can go here. What do we have in our void guide? What are you doing? Oh right, you don't know how to come down here, do you? Wait, you don't have a way to come down here. Tom Lee, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the luck. Everscream Relic and Ice Queen Relic. I need to I need to add these to the collection. Oh, let me just put a sentry up here. I don't have one. Um sentry sentry Where be the sentry? I don't even know. Never mind. Uh, Blizzard Staff is quite good. 73 magic damage, ridiculously fast rain of magic attacks. But what I really wanted was... What is this? Ancient Ice Chunk. That's what I got, uh... Oh, wow. Okay, we've got a new standard for stuff that'll attack through walls for a summon. That's the thing I found randomly in uh, the snow biome. Let's get this upgraded. Also, of course it's a material because this is Calamity. Alright, Reforge. Ruthless. Fantastic. get started with this and then one of these fantastic um i think that's definitely taking the place of our black hawk remote get out of here black hawk remote i don't need two of these let's sell one do i not have any i think the die trader died Alright, so in the list from Boss Log, the Everscream, Ice Queen, Santa. Uh, Everscream, Santa, Ice Queen. Frost Moon. Uh, how many Plantera? Great Sand Shark. Morning. So, one, two, three. Four is where we start. And was it Everscream first? Everscream, Santa, Ice Queen. I can't see for the summons. There we go. One, two, three, four. Oops. Was it the fourth one or do we skip four? One, two, three. It's the fourth one. And Santa goes here, Ice Queen goes here. I th yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Um, oh, I did have a sentry, technically. But I think I would like Lizard Staff to take this place now. Alright, let's stack these away. Oh, ex Exotic Skimitar, yes, he did die. My bad, probably. Alright, what time is it? 10 a.m. I want to try getting Shroomite gear together. Oh, we can make Perennial Bar. 
Adamantite Forge. And we can make Reaver die? Okay. Perennial bars, you say. Um, and what do we do with that? Essence, uh, essence of sunlight and solar flight we have. So we can make wings. We can make reaver gear. That's probably going to be pretty good. Of course, we don't have nearly enough yet, so we don't need to worry about that right now. Slush goes here. And quick stack. Oh, we got the chain gun. Nice. That is actually probably what I was talking about with it would be good to have like Mega Shark but better. It's better DPS, but it's less uh less accurate. Snowblock goes here. Loot all, fantastic. Elf meter, hell yes. Uh melter rather. Really, really good flamethrower. 210... Oh, I think... I think we have a new winner for piercing damage. Let's grab the DPS meter. We're wearing mostly ranged gear. So, I know this will hit any number of targets. This is 8 or 9k DPS. But this is a lot easier to use. And we're looking at 8,000. Yeah, I think we're switching to the elf meter. We haven't upgraded it yet either. Uh, elf melter, rather. Oh no, I went past the unreal. No. There we go. Unreal elf melter. DPS is twelve and a half thousand. Okay, that just wins. Uh, Adamantite Particle Accelerator, you lasted a long time with your relevance, but it's time to go. Burning all the gel? We've got 5.7k gel. Um, and how about the chain gun? I want to compare it. Because, like, if it might be worth using chlor... Oh, we have chlorophyte bullets. Fantastic. Why did I put my musket ball bag? Here we go. It should probably be in the same chest as this. Alright, so... Even with double quivers, uh, we're looking at like up to 3k DPS. Oh, I think I think one of the arrows wasn't hitting, it was hitting the ground. Yeah, about 3k or so DPS from this, and the chain gun with... that's a DPS meter. Uh, without upgrading the chain gun further, It's like 17 and 100 or so, but we could use homing bullets. Hmm. In a situ situation like where we're trying to dodge Santa at the same time, that might even be better. But I'm more interested in that it uh, upgrades certain other weapons. As soon as I kill Moonlord, I can make Onyx Chain Blaster. And there's also Minigun, which is still a material because of course it is. Jeez. Alright, I don't think the Chain Gun is up to scratch. Let's put it here. 
And uh, since I'm not playing Summoner right now, I don't need all of this stuff. I should probably keep the stuff I'm actually using together, though. Not the DPS meter. That can go there. Uh, we've got like four minutes to night time. Let's go grab the Corophyte. I want to try and make Shroomite armor for night time. And instead of rushing to start at 7.30, I'll just make sure I'm actually prepared this time. That's a lot of mud. Alright. Down we go. So 7x7, seven 7, 49 chlorophyte for each of these blocks. Or 48 at the most, since we're not going to pick up all of it, otherwise it won't grow back. Get some Aziz light. And we go to the next one. That summon is so aggressive. I feel rather lucky to have found it because I wasn't gonna—I wasn't about to spend a lot of time in the snow biome. I would say maybe I should make these blocks even bigger, but they're kind of awkward to get around. Maybe I should make them rectangles instead. Just the thickest thing that we can reach all the way through. So how far can I reach? One, two, three, four, five tiles. We'll use this one. We'll have a little trial. Uh, let me just dig all of this, actually. And we'll stretch it. And we got one, two, three more blocks to harvest. Ow, 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 rude. Oh, not, not again, not here again. No, please, no. Don't bounce my arrows back at me. Whew. That was exactly where it showed up last time. And resulted in this happening. So it seems like I don't have to, and probably can't, go out of my way to farm this primal ooze just going to come to me. Ow. Rude. Didn't even know there was corruption here. Probably should have from the music. Just 
Still, what are the odds of two of these worms so close together? Can I pick this up? There we go. And pick this up while we're at it. Down we go. Why do I keep falling into the lava there? Is that actually a slope? I guess so. Let me up. Alright, so hopefully after this we have all the chlorophyte ore we can eat. let the lava through, didn't I? It's probably fine. Don't worry about it. And once more with feeling... Did I forget to swap this? No, it's fine. Alright. So we got 333... Oh my god, not again. Are you serious right now? Are you going to attack every time I come here? Where did you drop your stuff? Ow, what is that? Whatever, let's go. Uh, perennial goes here. It's already 11.35pm. Wow. Alright, let's make chlorophyte buzz. Use the flamethrower? Oh yeah, I should have. Yeah, I swapped... Uh, I swapped gear not that long ago and I was thinking, well, I've got all this ranged damage, but Razorblade Typhoon is going to hit all the segments. Um, we need mushrooms. We've only got 3,000 left. Probably shouldn't have turned it all into Shroomite. Oh well. A hundred bars or so. Um, that should be way more than enough to make the armor. And... It's not a material. I guess we could make each type of helmet. We've probably got enough. Um, but for now I'll probably go for arrows for when I really want to do damage. How does our damage change from Hallowed? 158 range damage, 31% uh, crit. Okay, this is standing still, but 51% crit and 226. And this is 173.41. That is a significant increase in damage, but it comes at the cost of our invulnerability. It's actually like less than 10% now that I think about it. 
I'm a little disappointed. Um, I really hate the set bonus for Shroomite. It just encourages you to get hit, pretty much. Uh, and I would have hoped that, like, Calamity would change it. But it's probably a big enough damage buff. That I should use it? Question mark. 158 and 31. 173 and 41. So it's like 12%, not counting the crit. I think... I think it's actually still better to go Hallowed and have more, like, have a lot of damage accessories. What's our defense? 64 becomes 75. That's not insignificant. It depends what we're fighting. If it's a boss that hits really hard that we can usually dodge, uh, it would be better to go for the Hallowed. Still. Chain guillotines is a material. Oh, you can just swap it with Fetid. That's fine. Um, what else can we do with our Shroomite? We can make a hoverboard. We've already got fish run wings, though. 10% increased weapon type damage while wearing Shroomite armor. Flight time 170. It's slightly less. And we lose the, the ability to move really well in water. What about the speed? Horizontal speed 8. 6.5. Acceleration multiplier 2 becomes 1. Get out of here. Fish run wings. OP. Um, I did make the Digging Claw last time. I really hate the lack of range from it. And... That's mostly it. Shroomite Visage. Increased range damage for flamethrowers. Specifically flamethrowers. Yeah, no. Nah. I really want that rocket launcher. The, uh... Uh, the snowman cannon, specifically. It shoots homing missiles that don't self-damage. Let's make all of the helmets while we're at it. And I could always have one in the vanity slot to switch it. Um, let's put this mud away. And everything else. I guess the hallowed can go here. And... At the moment... I'm not gonna bother swapping the helmets around, so I'll just put them here. don't particularly like the helmet with this uh, lab coat. What should we wear right now? Or maybe wear this, but with some dye. That's kind of weird looking. I think shadow dye is going to be a bit much. How about gel dye? Kind of makes it more so. Reflective obsidian dye. It's very dark, as expected. 
phase die? That's a bit much. How about red? Do we have red? Yes and no. I haven't made it yet. I don't mind this, but maybe a different shade of red. Don't really have it right now. Material. Red and black dye? Where's the dye trader? Oh, he's here. Or she? I don't know. Black dye... Red and black dye. That's kind of neat. Let's go with that for now. And quick stack this. It's morning. Let's do a fishing quest real quick. Uh, caught in honey. That's easy enough. Guten Morgen, BG Nyment. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Honey is this way. Away we go. I'm fine. Hope you too. Yeah, not bad. I uh, crushed Duke Fishrun earlier today, and now we're getting bullied by Santa Claus. That is a location for a bulb. Nice, yeah. Oh, we can... Wait, we've already done the 500 health. We're, we're looking for, I think it's orange blink... Uh, orange something root, for the most part. To get our health up. Let's get some bait. That looks so weird. Just a fishing rod sticking out of nowhere. Honeyfins are actually really good before hard mode. Um, they're like a bigger version of... Well, no, that's not quite right. They have the same heals per second as Restoration Potions, but instead of 90 life, you get 120. Ooh, what's this? Hadal Stew. 120 life, 150 mana. Only 50 seconds of Potion Sickness. Medium improvement to all stats, 60 minute duration. What's our current health potion? 150 life. It also gives mana. What do we make this out of? Coastal demon fish. I don't know where to get that. I don't know if that's worth the effort. Yeah, we have to do some abyss fishing or something. Tacken style. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I need a fishing potion to get this done? Honey is a bit slow. Feels like a waste. Oh, oh, nearly missed it. Scratching my face. There it is. Whoops. And we got the millionth pair of angler pants. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Luckily the system will take care of it. Alright, let's stack away the life fruit. I guess we don't have honey fin in here. Why 
What other weapons could I use on the Santa in particular? Probably just the bow, to be honest. I could maybe use explosive arrows, just to make it a bit easier to hit. While we're dodging around. 32 range damage, 46. That is a lot. Acid obviously isn't going to work on Santa. I was wondering, because I'm going to do a Terraria mod world as well, if Fargo's mod and Calamity works well together. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about Fargo's mod yet. This is a lot of damage and not much defense. I feel like I'm going to regret using the Shroomite gear, and I should probably use Hallowed, but we'll give it a try. Alright, what time is it? 12.35. Um, I could maybe go for... Why don't we use some homing bullets? Instead of the Typhoon for certain things. Oh, I've got the homing bullets here. Cool. Put these away. And... I think the best weapon we have to use the homing bullets right now is probably... Would it be the chain gun or... The tactical shotgun? And why didn't I put them here? Where did I put the tactical shotgun? That is a nail gun. Let's just sort it. There's the tactical shotgun. Okay. And I should definitely bump it to Unreal before we test it. I don't really want to bother to upgrade the sniper rifle because I know how good it is and isn't. Um, and I'm just holding onto it as a material. Alright, so... Tactical shotgun. Wait, what? No, not again. Give it back. Tactical shotgun. It's like... 2,500 DPS. It's pretty good. Maybe a bit lower on average? I can't really tell. Uh, I didn't mean for the sniper rifle. Let's test the chain gun. It's... I think it's higher and or just more consistent. And it's going to be easier to use. Especially with the homing bullets. So we'll put the tactical shotgun away. Is it a material? It is. Oh, it's part of the... Yeah, 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 I remember that. Alright, so all these cool guns that are going to be upgraded we're putting in here. Um, I think I'll put the chain gun in the homing slot. We're not really using the uh, blizzard stuff. Let's put this here, actually. See for chain gun. The Blizzard Staff is, um, is a weapon that I think is great and never get around to using. Okay. And we should probably make some more Chlorophyte bullets, but I think I used all the Chlorophyte. Turning it into Shroomite. M back, welcome back. What should I kill for the next three minutes before nighttime? I could do some building instead, but I'm going to end up with my inventory full of stuff. Maybe I should just take a chest over there. And we'll take um, the stuff we're going to build with. Stone slabs. And grey bricks. 
Not a whole lot of grey bricks here. Let's take some stone as well. And dynasty stuff I want for the roof and thereabouts. Do we not have the different coloured dynasty shingles? Yeah, here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to put these in a chest over here, so that we can build this a bit more without thinking too hard about our inventory and stuff. Oh, and I should get the proper set of buff potions together this time. Let's treat this seriously. Thorn's potion? Don't need summoning potions right now. Um, definitely don't want a Zerg potion. Not using magic. Featherfall is actually quite helpful. Uh, I guess I don't need this in my inventory. If it's always just the two summons. As long as we keep upping that buff. Although, if I'm fighting out in the open, this thing... Well, I'll give it a chance. Heart Reach. Grav. Uh, Wrath, definitely. Rage. Inferno's not going to do a whole lot. Titan Potion. I guess, actually, yeah. This would be the use case for it, actually. Some of the minions that come at you, you want to knock them, knock them back. And of course, flask of party. How about you show us how to make a basic house with storage room? Basic house. Uh, I mean, the way I started this whole thing was mostly just having a crappy little hole in the ground and some chests on the surface. It was a process. And we got 20 seconds. Before we can make the most of the naughty present. Unless I'm missing something in the buffs, but I don't... Oh, archery potion. Hell yeah. Another 20% arrow damage. That's going to be insane. All right, here we go. Just use the typhoons on the small fry. Oh, all right, it's already time for piercing damage. There's our first big target. It almost reaches the whole screen, the flamethrower. It's brilliant. see where the target is. There we go. Uh-oh. That's what we fear. I can infer where it is to some extent. The main thing is to be moving in an arc around it when... No, 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 no. Ah, uh, okay. We're fighting somewhere away from that. Uh, away from that rope that I foolishly put there before. How have I not consumed Flask of Party? I pressed B earlier. Okay, do we actually have all of our buffs? Oh, what the heck is that? I need to heal up a bit. There we go. 
That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's fight over here. Away from the random rope ladder that I should get rid of. That gets me stuck whenever I press down when I'm trying to use the, uh... When, whenever I'm trying to fall faster with the Featherfall Potion. They still have quite a lot of hit points despite all the damage I'm stacking. The Santas do. Fantastic. I need to learn to count exactly how long it is before they shoot. Oh, he's shooting through the wall. Okay, that seems fair. I think it's about five seconds or so. Well, the weapon is called Elf Melter and that is what it is doing. Oh good, one of you at the same time. Perfect. I was afraid I wouldn't be backed into a corner. There we go. Nice and clean. Fantastic. And there's a lot of hearts on the ground when I need them. Oh! Ow! 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 Sneaky. We do have a potion of omniscience, right? Yeah. Okay, those helicopters actually shoot quite a lot if they get started. Wow, I have never seen an Ice Queen dying this fast before. That's a lot of damages. Ow, that's also a lot of damages. Thank you for the hearts, and that's the same drop we already had. Unfortunate. Oh, another Ice Queen? That's what we're looking for? Elf Melter, fantastic. Ouch. Where is she? I need to use my grab potion. Why isn't it active? There we go. Give me... Snowman Cannon. I guess not. Oh, that's another Santa. I don't want it shooting through the wall at me over there. But it's doing it anyway. Here we go. Get wrecked Santa. And there's another Santa already in exactly the same spot. Fantastic. Wait, did I forget? Oh, yeah, I did. I forgot I had the chain gun. I was going to say, did I forget to equip it, but no. It's very handy for deleting those small flying things. Or maybe hitting something off screen we can't really see. 
DPS is nothing compared to getting a few hits with the bow, though. Oh. Anti-grav very, very handy here. We got the North Pole again. Where's the Ice Queen? Here she comes. Another one? Seriously? Uh, I hope I'm not getting it mixed up, but it looks like we're getting like four or five of the same drop from the Ice Queen. And the drop that I'm looking for from the Ice Queen is the entire reason we're doing this event. Is this it? Nope, that is the 17,000th North Pole. Okay. Perfect. Good. Another one? We're getting nothing but Ice Queens now, which is good. We've only got 30 seconds left, though. If I can get through the waves a bit faster next time, we'll get a lot more opportunities to get the Snowman Cannon. That is not the snowman cannon. Can we kill you before the event ends? Uh, yes, because you're fleeing to the right. Nice. And we got the spirit of Chris. What was that? Oh, nasty. Good luck, good luck, thank you. Grizzly Lucas, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness, that knockback. Alright, let's make sure we pick up all of our loot. What was that? Yes, sir, same to you, thank you. No worries, welcome, welcome. Um, what do we got? North Pole? Oh, that's the melee version. It looks very similar. Holy crap, that is covering the screen. Um, but yeah, I think we just got... They do look very similar. We got everything except for the snowman cannon from the Ice Queen. Is this the pet? Yes, it is. I don't really care for that. I think this was just a random bit of desert loot. Sky Glaze. Could you let me sort my inventory? Alright, no more flask of party. I've had enough of that. Damn, Razor Blade Typhoon plus Titan Potion is actually super crazy. against anything that's susceptible to it. Give me that worm. I'm running out. Should I do the pumpkin moon? I can't remember what we get from the pumpkin moon. Oh, I guess boss log can tell us. Pumpkin... I haven't done cryogen. Where do I find this? Use a cryo key in snow biome. 
Ice, Souls, and Essence of Illume. Okay, how much ice do we have? It's probably in here somewhere. I don't think I do have a bunch of ice stored. We're probably just going to delete this boss at this point. Christmas hook. That's probably an improvement. Uh, reach is a lot more. Launch velocity is more. Reel back velocity is the same. Pull velocity is the same. It might be a little distracting with the graphic, but it's probably fine. And it's a triple hook. Let's sell the dual hook. I think I have many spares. Gingerbread man. Not really a banner that I particularly need. Let's put the pets away. And there was one in here, I think. What else have we got? Quick stack. Whoops. Put this in the museum. And we want enchanted night crawlers. All right. Don't we have chicken nuggies? I guess not. And what is this? Blizzard stuff? I thought I put this away. Yeah, I did. Okay. North Pole is a material now. Elemental Lance. We need to kill the Moon Lord to upgrade it. Alright, this can go... I don't know, in here. Real Kushti, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we've done, what, three uh, Frost Moons? And we're still looking for just one Snowman Cannon. I feel like I'm going to be disappointed in it after this much effort. Um... I'll, I'll put the chain gun here while we're doing ranger. And I don't know what should go here, honestly. Sniper rifle? Why not? Where is the sniper rifle? There it is. Fantastic. How much damage is it going to do? If I'm standing still, over 500. That's actually kind of crazy. And we're not even using the uh, bullet headgear. What time is it? Middle of the day. Let's knock off a fishing quest. Caught in the Brimstone Crag. I don't know where that is. Oh, is this it? This place? That's going to be an interesting challenge to fish. Um, Alright. Let's get our bait prepared beforehand. Master bait. I'll take fishing potions as well. And we need our summons. And I'll just take uh, Sun God and also Sanguine Bat. Where's the Sanguine Bat? Uh-oh. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is.
Just two summons that hit enemies very easily. Alright, not here. Down we go. That knockback. Maybe I should put some dye on the fish run wings. Through here we go. Uh, the pet is a little distracting. further. We're almost out of the demon town anyway. I should probably grab this bait, actually. Oh, do I have a lava fishing hook? I do. Alright. And I should probably get equipped before I get to the super... Well, it's pretty dangerous, but more to the point, it's relentless. Um, we'll put the bait things where the quivers go, and damage thing where the... Swap out the lava hook where the damage thing goes. So that we can use the uh, master bait over here. So I think this is the biome that we're supposed to be fishing for our quest fish. Uh, is that it? No. Fire is a living being. Prag bullhead. Its scales are scorching hot. Chaotic fish. We got a present? Okay. I'm just going to concentrate on dodging and we'll look at our loot afterwards. And there's the quest fish and my void bag is full. Um, why is my void bag full? It's not full. What the hell? I guess the quest fish just doesn't automatically go in the void bag? I'd like to fish here a bit more since we went to the trouble of getting here. And there's stuff that I haven't fished up before. Okay, 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 okay. Coastal demon fish. Wait, was that what I said I didn't know where to get before? definitely don't want to miss 4.30 a.m. and have wasted my time for the quest, but more to the point, we also don't want to miss the night time. So I'll get going in about a minute. I guess I could have done Empress of Light by now, um, but I just wanted that rocket launcher first. We don't need the rocket launcher for Empress of Light, it's not the best single target damage dealer by far. 
but we want it. like a minute. Crag Bullhead. It only makes sashimi, so it's basically garbage. Uh, Brimstone Fish makes Calamitous Brew. We need Ashes of Calamity as well. I think I've got those. I think that came from Calamitous, right? Yeah, yeah, we can make this. Adds Brimstone Flames to your melee and rogue projectiles and melee attacks. Movement speed up by 5%, 15 minutes. That's not really worth bothering. If there was no problem with having many buffs and, like, the auto buff not working, um, I would maybe consider it. But for now, I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, we got some crates that I have. I'm not going to open just yet. Dragoon Drizzlefish is actually a ranged weapon? What the heck is this? Uh, well, we've got a few seconds before we can start the naughty... the Frost Moon, so I'm just going to do that instead. Let's head over here where we're not going to have rope to run into. them as fast as possible. We need to get through the waves so we get to the point where it's just Ice Queen spawning pretty much. Oh, what is that? Ever screen. Oh, 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 I need to put my damage gear back on. There we go. That would probably help. Glad I remembered it when I had time. Ouch. I probably should wear Charm of Myths. Uh, sorry, the, uh... Is it Charm of Myths? The regen ring that also makes potion cooldowns shorter while doing an event like this, where we can take a number of hits, but it's uh, very hard to avoid them all. Oh, you're in a very awkward spot. Could you come up here, please? Thank you. And once more. Oh, he's, he's missing. Okay, so these rockets go through the walls, but the bullets don't. That's something I should try to exploit. I don't think I really can. Ouch. Oh, big ouch. Let's, let's not be here. Let's get some health. There we go. I don't particularly love the uh, spirit of Christmas changing the appearance of the health pickups because I don't know that they're there. Summoned a pet that I picked up, didn't I? Let's 
very distracting. It makes me think that there's a projectile coming after me. We finally got Razor Pine. It's not my favorite weapon or anything, but I'm surprised we didn't have it yet. Ow. There goes my dodge. Almost down. Fantastic. Oh boy, that's bad actually. Okay. Could you stop? Distracting me, little pet. Let me put it. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, okay. The moment I tried to inventory manage, a Santa almost lands on my head. Okay, all right. I see how it is. Where is he? Oh my god, die already. Okay. Is that an ice queen? Is there a, an ice queen around? No? Apparently not. Finally. What time is it? 12.25. We've got four minutes of trying to kill Ice Queens quickly. Uh-oh. That's not helping. Okay, another one? Really? Alright, okay. Give to me the Snowman Cannon. I don't think we got the Snowman Cannon. some more ice queens. I guess I have to kill more stuff. Here we go. Cannon? No snowman cannon. Oh, I don't care about the ever scream if there's an ice queen. I can't tell where she is. There we go. Another one? Okay. Won't even find out what she dropped. Uh, what did I- what buff did I just kill? Oh well. Santa. Ouch. There we go. Can we have another ice queen, please? I guess not. We're running out of time. Ouch. We're running out of health.
Where is he? Finally. We've got 33 seconds to kill her. Don't go behind the cloud. Snowman cannon? No snowman cannon. Okay, another one? I don't think we can kill her in 10 seconds. Unless she tries to flee in our direction or something. Ah, oh, she's gone. Well, I hope that one, uh... That one drop that I didn't see was the snowman cannon, because otherwise I don't think we have it. It looks like it was not. Oh, hello. Did I just... No? Where is she? I was going to say, I surely didn't kill a sand elemental that quickly. Even with a razor blade typhoon. I don't feel like doing the sand storm thing right now. Ranged weapon proficiency up. Fantastic. Alright, let's see what we have. And there's a traveling merchant. Somewhere. I think that's him. No. Where's the traveling merchant? Here he is. What do you got for me? Hunter cloak, zebra skin, sake, faux, kimono, bad tie, and green team stuff. Useless. Alright. Uh, I could maybe start considering putting banners up for the elves and stuff. Razor Pine is actually kind of good. I thought it pierced at least once. I guess not. 53 magic damage, ridiculously fast, pretty somewhat cheap. As with plus 20% mana cost, it's 5 mana. And it turns out we can upgrade it later. Uh, let's get some luck potion going, and I'll open all these presents and crates. Put this bait away. Uh, what else? Empty the void bag. Dragoon Drizzlefish. 47 range damage, 47% crit. Oh, this is while I'm standing still with Shroomite. Uh, fires an inaccurate spread of fireballs. And they do different things. The brimstone sack appears to contain fuel. Revenge is a dish best so flaming hot. That's probably way behind our current gear, but if I'd known about it, I definitely would have fished that up sooner. Uh, bone dust, essence, etc. goes over here. <gasps> we got it! Snowman cannon. Fantastic. It only took 17,000 tries. We also have a wyvern kite. Beautiful. Alright, let's stack this away. Shadowfish makes shadow potion. Invisibility potion plus shadow fish. 
Causes the player to disappear while not attacking. Holding different types of rogue weapons gives the player boosts. Different types of rogue weapons spawn different projectiles on hit. And a bit of stealth generation. Well, that's not that exciting, but I won't say it's bad or anything. Coastal Demonfish. Oh, this is what we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said before. I need Abyss Gravel or Void Stone, though. Is that what I get if I dig this stuff up? I wonder. 120 health, 150 mana. Gives 50 seconds of potion sickness. Medium improvements to stats. Is that going to override our, like... Major improvements to stats. 60 minute duration though. What is it a material for? Oh, it's any food. The camper. Okay. Was I not wearing... Damage reduction potion? Oh, that's unfortunate. Brimstone crates go here. We got the toy tank. Amazing. This is actually much better than you might expect. So I have a question, sure. Uh, Shriek? Shriek TV? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this thing actually attacks, uh, like, passively. I haven't used the sniper rifle once. Let's swap this out. When I did use the sniper rifle, I was just like... I should use the chain gun instead. If my settlers are right next to my house in apartment complex that I've built, can I still use pylons? They have to be happy enough to sell you the pylons. Um, after that, you just need to have two NPCs close to a pylon uh, for it to work. Chaotic fish. The horns lay a curse on those who touch it. Right click to extract essence. Oh, we just got a bunch of essence of chaos. Okay. And crystal is an ingredient. Alright. Uh, let's finish emptying our void bag. Put this stuff away. I can't dash while I'm using the toy tank, weirdly enough. Uh, we got a spare chain gun, some relics to sell. What is this? Charred ore. Unholy core. We need hellstone. It's a material. Ancient altar. Used for special crafting. Ancient basin. Ancient monolith. This doesn't look functional. What does unholy core do? Quite a lot, actually. Let's grab some hellstone. And... What the heck is meteor fist? Oh, it's a rogue weapon. How can I improve their happiness? Because all I've uh, gave them is big enough room with one light, a table, and chair. If you talk to them, uh, right click and go to happiness, and they'll give you some hints. Other than that, uh, if you really want to know, I would check out the wiki. So, the die trader, it turns out, doesn't like the steampunker. They need different biomes and also companions next to them. They don't like each other. Yeah, some of them like, some of them love each other, some of them hate each other, or so, it's not always symmetrical. Uh, I guess I should not be selling my stuff to the die trader if she's not happy. This is fine. If I really want the maximum price, I'll go over to the mechanic, but 
I'm not that worried about it, to be honest. Wait, no, I didn't mean to sell the chain gun. It's a material. I want spares. They're not easy to come by. Uh, oh, this is the second one, so I can't quick stack it because I'm holding onto one. All right. And then... What's this? Charred Lasher. It's... What? Oh, is it just a... Is it just for selling? No material. This elusive fish is a prized commodity. How much commodity are we talking about here? 12 gold. 12.65 if we sell it to her. That's pretty good. Alright. I definitely want another snowman cannon because uh, as much as I want to make this thing, I want to have a snowman cannon after it in case it, I don't, in case it doesn't have a homing missile or something. Um, I can sell the frozen crown. Let's stack this stuff away. Burger can go in here. Harpy Banner goes here. Blizzard Staff in the Mage Collection. Let's re-roll the Snowman Cannon. And this is going to be our go-to... Oh, oh. No, no, no. Uh, this is going to be our go-to when there's multiple enemies. Uh, so instead of gel, I need to carry rockets now. I think the the cyborg sells rockets. I should probably make a proper home for the cyborg so he's happy and gives me a better price. Uh, let's see, rocket one. Is it nighttime? It's not nighttime yet. I think he sells rocket. Green, which is also a material at night. I may have already stashed some up here somewhere. Sort. Sort. I should really organize this better. don't see any rockets. Apparently not. Okay. Um, the elf melt is great, but the snowman cannon, I love it so much more. And they sort of have the same role. Although maybe... Maybe Snowman Cannon sort of fits the role of the Razorblade Typhoon if I'm playing Ranger. But I'm so used to having it in slot 5. Maybe I'll try like this. Let's put the Razorblade Typhoon in here for now. Can I teleport while I've got the tank? I can. Uh, give me these ladybugs. Free the owl? It looks sad. Free the owl? Oh, I can't. It's, um... It's its, its own item. Doesn't he look happy? He's perfectly safe. All right, are we about ready to... Let's put this gel away. Where am I keeping it? Is this literally all the gel? Possibly. We're gonna keep picking it up regardless, but... Whatever, we'll, we'll try putting it in here. Uh, and we need rockets instead. In 45 seconds, I can buy better rockets. Uh, 
Uh, what else? We're going to open these presents and... Oh, the blindfold doesn't get combined with... Is this the final piece? Can we finally make the ank shield? Where did I put all that stuff? Here it is. The plan... Uh, why do we have adhesive plus bozar that hasn't been combined? Let's just pick these up. Medical bandage, the plan... Uh, where did the blindfold go? Blindfold... We need Calicurse Mantra, which I think we have somewhere, and Armor Bracing, which I think we have somewhere. I also made the Pocket Mirror. I remember that much. Uh, Shurik, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I not have... I definitely remember making the mirror. It's around here somewhere. Maybe it's just not in these chests? Uh, there's our ink shield. No, it's the paladin shield that we have to combine with it. Oh, did I put it with the paladin shield? No. No, I did not. Is it in here? This is very weird. I can't think where else I could have put all those immunity stacking accessories. We've got Megaphone here. That combines with Nazar. Did I really never find a Nazar? That is a lot of cross necklaces. I should probably sell some. That is not a Nazar. Not even a little bit. Yeah, I guess we don't have... So what are we missing? Uh, armor polish? I'm pretty sure I have that. How do I get the recipe for this? Armor polish and vitamins. I've definitely seen those. There's armor polish. Now what about vitamins? We've got trifold map that turns into the plan with fast clock. Uh, why don't I combine these already? Whoops. So we've got medicated bandage, the plan, blindfold, uh, armor bracing is vitamins. I was sure we had vitamins somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking of another save. Yeah, maybe we're still waiting on vitamins. Oh, no, here they are. Why are they spread across everything like this? Uh, it was armor polish I need, wasn't it? Alright. Armor bracing, rather. So we got everything except for counter curse mantra, which is... We're just missing Nazar, I think. Which I don't actually think I have. So 
So as soon as we see a Nazar, it's trying to it's time to make the uh the final version of that. Don't know why I've got another elemental in a bottle here. I guess I picked it up from the sand. Let's sell this. I don't think we need any more forbidden fragments, but whatever. And let's grab those rockets. I want to grab as many as possible since who knows when we're going to need them. Rocket 3, material, will not destroy tiles. Let's go. Spend a couple of plat on this. Alright, 40,000 rockets should last at least a few minutes. And we can turn them into mini nuke. That's actually not that great. It's bigger damage, bigger radius, but like, you'd be surprised how underwhelming it is. Actually, 80 to 125. That's like a 30% increase in damage. I think maybe Calamity changed it a bit, but it takes one Shroomite bar just to make a hundred. That's a lot of trouble. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with Rocket 3. You also wanted a pocket mirror. I'm pretty sure I made one at some point, but I don't know where it is. Okay. So we got our rockets. Um, time to open these crates, since we've got all these presents as well. I don't remember what we can get out of those. But let's open our crates with a luck potion as well. Oh, and we've got this old die gives us more luck also. And presents. Oh, we get Christmassy stuff. Alright, what do we have here? We don't need more sailfish boots. Uh, anything I quick stack, we already had. Luminil. I don't remember where I got this. The crate for it, that is. Abyssal diving suit. That is a lot of text. That is a lot, a lot of text. It needs a lot of ingredients as well. Um, I'm just going to shove this into hard mode calamity materials for the moment. It might be easier to scroll through this with the guide, actually. It's a lot of stuff. 453 range damage. Good grief. Okay, I suspect we won't be using that for a minute. Uh, what else do we have here? Another enchanted sundial? I'll probably just put that somewhere... One of the other towns. Lionfish. Oh, I've seen this. We're gonna sell that. Sea minnow. 20% bait power. I don't see why I would want to bother with that. One more stack for not much uh, bait power. Depth's Charm. Reduces the damage caused by pressure of the abyss while out of breath. Reduces the bleed effect. I, th I thought we had one of these. Did I upgrade it? Oh, I, no, that's what I needed to make the abyssal diving gear. So we need depth cells, luminal. I need 10 luminal. Do we have it? I think we had like seven or something. We have four. Okay. 
Um, I'll put this here for now. What is Tenebris? Something that goes into all of these things. All right. Uh, I don't think we need the lucky die. Let's get our jump height back. Plenty mush goes here. Sulfuric scale should be quick stacking. There it is. Shameful candy cane sword. Well. Heals you on hit. I wonder by how much. Probably one or two health. It's not a whole lot of damage either, even considering the, uh... The bad prefix. Candy cane block can go in here. Bone ash. Star anise. 31 range damage, but that's when we're standing still. It's finite, and it's weak. And it's not a material. I'm just going to sell it. Kind of like the Parker on this. Uh, fish are a paima. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is that? Holly can be placed. Okay. Um, sure. Sugar cookie. Major improvements to stats for four minutes. Except it doesn't stack with our fish useless. Uh, Eggnog restores 80 life. I'm just going to sell those. Musket balls. Red Rider. What is this? It's just a rather weak gun. I think that was from the Christmas stuff. Put it in the collection. Reindeer antlers. Oh. Let's put these over here somewhere. Pine tree block. Uh, snow globe summons the frost legion. Did we not have one of those yet? We well, did not. Let's do that. And I wanted some kind of reddish dye for the wings. That seems good. Found it out myself, I guess. It's stone slab. What blocks are your walls made of? Yeah, it's stone slab. So you need a heavy workbench. Uh, like this. And... Parker pants? Sure. Alright, let's summon the Frost Legion. Actually, I'll put this in here for now. I think they're pretty weak compared to what we have now. I could be wrong. Let's get our summons back. And where was the other one? I didn't actually see how useful that was out in the open. Uh, I was a bit too busy not dying. But considering how aggressive I've seen it be, it's probably quite good, actually. Okay. Uh, should we use rockets, actually? If I do that, I'm going to have to put the Parker Hood away, because... I'm going to want to swap this all the time. Ow, what the hell? 
Oh, I'm getting shot. That's what that was. It didn't happen at the same time. Hmm. I probably shouldn't be so stubborn as to not use any buff potions, but I don't want to waste all of them. Is that thorns? That's thorns. Oh, and we should definitely be using the bacon. If we're not already. We're almost cleared it already. I think this used to be the only way you could get snow. Unless you had, like, uh, a map generated during Christmas. When they added the Christmas stuff. Yeah, we could definitely do better than this minion when we're not spelunking. But that's okay. Mr. Stabby Banner. Lovely. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything much to get out of the... out of that event. Unless you count snow. I still haven't done the pumpkin moon, but I don't think there's anything that great to be got from there. Uh, since it's still daytime, why don't we look at clapping cryogen? We need eight essence of a loom. Do we have that? Yes, we do. Uh, five souls of night and light, and I need to go get 50 ice block, I think. Jason, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's go visit the cold biome. And I don't really want to take the ice from the surface. Make a mess of things. Where's a big bunch of ice? That looks like a lot, actually. That's kind of fast. That's kind of a little bit fast. What did I say I needed? 50? And we've got 200. Yeah, I think this will do. This minion's actually quite weak, now that I look at it. And it's not that weak, but compared to... Some of the options I have. It's really just the fact that it aggressively goes after everything through surfaces. Um, that's the reason I would use it. It will do for now, indeed. Stay alone. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, so where do I craft this thing? An anvil? I think we've got everything. But I don't... Oh, here it is. Cryo key. Summons cryogen when used in the tundra. That makes sense. I'm expecting to be very overleveled for this. I'm hearing Christmas music. And it just killed both of my NPCs. Oh, that was only one part of it. 
Okay. Let's not underestimate it. Probably could have done without the, uh... Okay, how many phases do you have, sir? Kinda hard to hit. Also, I should have been using this with the rockets in the first place. It misses too? What? Oh, am I getting out of the snow biome? No, I think we're good. I don't want it to enrage. Yeah, this thing, this thing is, uh, tougher than expected. Ow? What the f- seriously? Oh my goodness. I'm glad I have the rocket launcher, because I don't want to have to be trying to aim at this thing at the same time. Okay, that was... uncomfortable. The caves... the ice caves are crackling with frigid energy. It's just a shield, not a phase, yeah. And who are you? Permafrost. Necromancy was never a field I found interesting. Why utilize the rotting corpses of people when you could form far more elegant servants of ice? Indeed. And you are selling frozen... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That looks a bit serious. So basically this is the ice equivalent of Plantera making the uh, dungeon a lot more dangerous. He's selling super mana potions directly. That's nice. Magic scarf and hat. Transforms the holder into a snowman. <laughs> nice. Icicle arrow, 35 range damage. Shatters into shards on impact. Permafrost concoction. Maximum mana by 50, reduces mana cost, increases life regen as life decreases, increases life regen when afflicted by debuffs. You'll survive fatal damage and revive with 30% life on a 3 minute cooldown? You're encased in an ice barrier for 3 seconds when revived. Equippable. Um, wow. That seems kind of huge. Hmm. Well, let's make some room in our inventory. Also, I have a treasure bag to open. Cryogen. The Archmage's... The Archmage's Prison. Unsure if it has grown weaker over the decades of imprisonment. We also got a bunch of snow and ice. Uh, we got some very flashy things here. El e Effluvium Bow. It's actually not that weak. Converts wooden arrows into mist arrows. Oh, compared to Tsunami, it's really weak, because it only shoots, like, two arrows. Essence of Illum. Come back. No, this is not your house. How dare you? Uh, let me guess. He likes the Tundra. Too many people can disrupt the flow of mana. I much prefer breathing room here. The temperature allows me to save my magic power. Alright, I guess we have to add some... 
uh, some more quarters here. And what's this? All melee attacks and projectiles inflict frostburn. Hell yes. Immunity to frostburn, chilled and frozen. Uh oh. What? Why did you jump out? He's got 20,000 hit points. This is not your average NPC. Alright. Um, being above 75% life grants increased damage. Being below 20 life, 25% life grants defense, movement speed, acceleration, grants resistance against cold attacks. Put him in the desert? No. The magic of the ancient ice castle is yours. Counts as wings. Flight time sucks a little bit. Icicles rain down as you fly. Uh, do these actual... Do these attack? It, it's only when I hold space to go up that we get the icicles. They do almost no damage. That's cute, though. Um, what else does it do? 7% increased wall damage, all melee attacks and projectiles inflict frostburn, icicles rain down. I could probably see myself using this. Maybe? 10% increased damage and frostburn until we take a hit. And then if we get really low, we get some defense and movement speed. But that's the kind of buff that's just going to throw me off at the critical moment, because my movement is different. Uh, what else was this guy selling? A lot. Frostbite Blaster. Spread of six bullets, musket balls into icicles, <laughs> lol. Uh, icicle trident. Alright, this is all a bit behind our current power level. But it is eternal blizzard. 199 ranged. That's more than the tsunami, if we ignore the fact that tsunami shoots like six arrows. This would have been good to get earlier, but considering how surprisingly dangerous that that boss was, I feel like it's going to end up being like, uh, what is it called? The bonus boss deer thing? I feel like it's going to end up being like deer thing, where it's like, if you can beat him, you already don't need the stuff that he's dropping. Alright, let's go back. Stack this stuff away. Sell this. Um, put these in the collection, I guess. What do we got in our void bag? I still haven't done a proper build over here. I need... I've got a bunch of relics I need to put in place, I think. No wait, it's just this one. Cryogen? Uh, where did Cryogen go? After Queen Slime and before the Twins? There we go. Stack those away. Well, if we ever want a bunch of 
uh, snow and ice. I guess I know where to look. And we'll put this away as well. It is a material. What does it make? A rogue? A ranged weapon turns into a rogue weapon. A whole bunch of weapons turn into this rogue weapon. That's kind of weird. Okay, uh, so we've cleared out our inventory, it is almost 2 a.m. Uh, sudden pumpkin moon? I don't think the pumpkin moon is anywhere near as dangerous as the frost moon. The uh, pump kings that chase us are a bit scarier than the ice queens, but for the most part, not having like the robo Santas, uh, the Santa tanks shooting us is much, much, much easier. Oh, I guess we're supposed to be carrying gel as well. I have too many types of ammo, maybe I should cut one out. Or I could stop carrying stars in my ammo slots, since there's not really much point hoarding them at this stage. Hey, Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morning wood, that's what's good. Um, from this event. We need like 600 or 750 or so to get a good summoner set. They are relatively easy to deal with. Ow. Still dangerous, though. Let's just use rockets and chill. Stay at long range and we don't have to aim. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Pretty good, actually. That is a lot of stuff to dodge on the ground. Oh, I do have... I do have grab potions, so I don't need to go to the ground. And the thing is, these homing missiles, you don't have to farm for them at all. You can just buy them. Where's he gone? Easy enough. Back to rockets. Oh, it's morning. I thought it ended at 4am. 4.30 is when it's technically morning. Faye alone. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 2am is not really time for Pumpkin Moon. Yeah, I just wanted to, like, get a little warm-up with it, if that makes sense. So, Spooky Wood makes... Sometimes it's easy to use the guide. Uh, spooky Wood makes Spooky Helmet 9, 11, and 10 defense. Air yeah, that to Tiki. 6, 17, and 12. 20, 30 defense versus almost 40. So that's a downgrade. From something you can just buy. Uh, we get more minions though. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think we get... I think we get more minions with the set bonus. And we get more minion damage as well. Best vanilla summon armor pre-moon lord? Yeah, I 
think so. I just don't remember what the set gives us. Alright, where does the morning wood relic go? Uh, Great Sand Shark? I don't remember that. Plantera, Great Sand Shark. Morning Wood is right after the Great Sand Shark. Where's Plantera? Uh, is that Plantera? That is Plantera. And I think I lost track of where it was supposed to be. So we skip one after Plantera. I think that's right. Pumpkin Relic. Pumpkin. Goes right after Morning Wood. Fantastic. We got another good flying mount. The Horseman's Blade. Oh, I think we need this for the uh, the big sword. That is huge, though. Summons pumpkin heads to attack your enemies. Beautiful. That was where it was? Uh, where what was? Let's put Cursed Sapling over here. I don't really care for the scare uh, Scarecrow shirt. Spooky Wood can go in... Half Moon Vanilla. And what else do we have in here? Scarecrow Hat and some gel. I'll put the gel here and we'll put the stars in the piggy bank. I think we have doubled up on Naughty Present and Pumpkin Moon Medallion, fortunately. Thought you were wondering if you had Plantera Relic in the right spot. Yeah. Oh, no, I think I was sure I had it in the right spot before. I was just checking which was... Oh, after I accidentally picked it up and put it back. That's right. All right. Um... What time is it? It's almost 9 a.m. Let's do a fishing quest. We're only up to like 21 or something. Caught in Hallow. Nice and easy. Uh, give me the master bait. Why not? There's some cheese strats that, with the pumpkins from the blade having them Build up to huge numbers and rip into enemies. Nice. Why did my summons keep going? I didn't die, right? I don't remember dying. Where's our quest fish? There it is. And we're up to 22. And not getting a whole lot of special items. Many of the one frame kills on bosses? One frame, Jesus. All right. Um, I think I want to go for Empress of Light next. Do I have... I should really make sure I have every possible buff for that. Except maybe Featherfall? Actually, Featherfall would be good. More control in the air. Even if I find it a little awkward sometimes. Um... We've got 41 Grav, not many Featherfall. I think we can buy those. Not from here. Uh, 
We've got plenty of rage and wrath. Actually, we could use some more rage. And... Oops. Dash, though. Uh, we got literally hundreds of regen. I'm about to run out of life force potions. Can I still not buy those? Those guys don't sell potions. Oh, we've got a traveler. Celestial magnet. I don't think... I, I don't remember. I might be confusing it with another save, but I, I felt relieved to see those. Don't know if I have any. Uh, I should be using ammo reservation potions, actually. Also, the Uzi is a material. I want to see... Prideful Hunter's Planar Ripper. Good grief. Alright, well that's not going to happen for a little while. Um, I think we're good on that. How about Stimulants? We're down to 11, but they last forever. Um, how many things does Celestial Magnet go into? A few. Oh, you can make the Celestial Magnet. Okay. I forgot how merciful Calamity is with these things. Let's just put that there. Apparently we didn't have the Cement Mixer, though. So, let's see. Extendo Grip. Bricklayer. And Paint Sprayer. Hooray! We got the Architect Gizmo Pack. Nice for building stuff. And I can probably get rid of any duplicates of those things now. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, Uzi, I'll just throw in here. And... I was looking for Featherfall Potions, but I don't think we can buy those. Wait a sec. One last check. I know you sell blue potions, but probably not the one I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, what about down here? Unlikely. Endurance potions. I'm glad I checked here. In fact, give me a lot of them so I don't make this mistake again. And then... And then nothing? Calamity adds a lot of RNG mercy, yes. But it in, it in turn will give a lot less mercy for low skill. Fair enough. Um, so I think I do just have to make Featherfall. I don't want to use Blood Orbs uh, for something that's relatively easy to make. Daybloom, Blinkroot, Feather. We're about to run out of Blinkroot. Let's get some more. Whoops. Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How's the rest of your stream today? Welcome, raiders. Runky Max, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Hello, friendo. Hello to you as well. And I think that's all of them. Alright, let's go back up, stack this away, put this back where it belongs. Stream was great, didn't quite make it to space elevators, but close, and fixed a few things. Nice. So space elevators, first 10 minutes of next stream, yes? Because setting goals like that never goes wrong with Factorio. 
Not even once. Doom breed. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we were just getting ready to probably go after the Empress of Light. I've only got three Lace Wings, but it's probably fine. I do think we can get the next stream, but probably not in ten minutes. Fair enough. Uh, we've got... Bacon, Potion of Omniscience, Grab Potion, Featherfall, Thorns, Ammo Reservation, Heart Reach. I don't think Heart Reach is going to help with this boss. She's going to either be dead or not. There's no small things that come out of her. Iron Skin, Regen, Life Force. I should make some more Life Force. I can make it out of Blood Orbs. That's probably easier, to be honest. Do I not have what I need to make it normally? Uh, Moonglow, Sil Shiverthorn, Waterleaf, Prismite. Oh, I think the Prismite is in here. Yeah, there we go. That's the one use for it, so may as well. Uh, Life Force, Endurance, Titan. Titan isn't going to help against a boss like this. Let's put that away. Ammo reservation, damage, damage, archery, damage, uh, light movement. I think that's it. And we've got a minute and 30 before we can start the fight. I should probably get my summons back. I don't know where they went. Not that it'll make that much of a difference. Um, where is Sanguine Bat? There we go. And we've got all of our damage gear on. Maybe I should not be wearing Shroomite for this. It's hard to say, honestly. One more invulnerability versus less damage. But... It's a fight that we really want to finish as quickly as possible. We'll see how it goes. Arrow damage go. Uh, we still got 7,000 venom arrows. We have our toy tank. Won't be using that, to be honest. Not during a boss fight. Or well, not during this boss fight, anyway. Um, and we got the stimulants. Is there any other... We don't have time. I th I don't think there's another buff that would be helpful, really. Alright, so we release the prismatic lace wing. We stop having the guide to critic companionship, and we murder it. And we buff, and we flee, and we hope that we don't die. Where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Gotta watch out for those dashes. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Okay. Alright, alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're fine. Oh, that's not fine. Up here. I'm gonna get stuck. That's bad. Let's maybe not fight around the wizard tower would be a good idea. Maybe? I have to start the fight in the hallow, but I don't think she um, enrages if we leave. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Even the trails will hurt us a lot. Nope. Nope. We're halfway there, I think. It's gonna get worse. Oh, there's the wizard tower again. Why do we keep ending up back here? Nope. No, thank you. Nope. 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 I respectfully decline. 
No. Okay. 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 Running out of space. Running out of space. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. That's super bad. Okay. Why did that trail have to cut us off? I think we need to be more careful about... We don't have any hallow where there's lots and lots of space, though. I need to get away from this area as soon as we start the fight. Trees are the real enemy, right? Um, it didn't help that I put this freaking wizard tower here that we're starting to build. I could start the fight here and try to move more or less to the right. Uh, should we try again? It only took a few minutes. I still have one of my summons. And if we fail this one, I'll have to start looking for another prismatic lace wing. Oh no, the item that I had here got deleted. Rip. How do I... There we go. Try and move it to the right. Get away from the terrain obstacles. Random instantaneous movement. Not cool. Okay, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Should have flipped gravity, I think. Except I always have to... Oh, okay, alright, okay. How about no, actually? Is she gonna keep coming? I don't... I think she is, actually. I don't see her on the map, but I see the health bar? Um, alright. Yikes! Jesus! What? What was that? What? Seriously? Was that just like an I wanna be the guy kinda haha gotcha moment? What? She's eternal? Yeah, I think, um... A lot more than Duke Fishron, she's very... You just have to know her stupid attack pattern. It's not like you can just react to things. That was the farewell, right? Ah... I only have one lace wing left. Let's go look for some more. Oh, I went way past. I don't suppose uh, Calamity has any kind of mercy for this one, like selling truffle worms. So that we don't have to farm for the right to attempt this boss fight. You need to know her attack pattern or have thrown out enough beach balls to hit the projectile limit. Yeah, I heard of that one. Particularly the way she dashes left and right, there's just, there's no way you're reacting to that. You're either getting hit by it or not. Oh, um, we need... I'm gonna grab a, what, it, what do you call it? Zerg potion? Because... The lace wing actually sort of counts as a monster. For the purpose of spawning. So I want as many enemies spawning as possible. I don't have the guide to critic companionship on me now, but if you... It, it's pretty hard to kill it by accident, because it's not tangible until you get closer. All critters do? Yeah, I noticed that. Playing around with the... Uh, 
journey mode, setting the spawn rate up to maximum. Still not seeing any lace wings though. Wait, I hear something. No, it's just a fairy. If we don't... well, even if we do get a lace wing... Once it's morning, what should I do with the rest of this potion? It's kind of expensive. Although, I think it just costs money, ultimately, right? Which doesn't really count for anything. An owl? Are we farming for something now? Yeah, this thing right here. To summon that boss, you have to kill this very rare butterfly thing. Uh, and I want to have a few of them so I can actually attempt the boss back to back. So I don't, you know, go in rusty every single time. Maybe I'll just use the journey world to practice off stream before I try this again, actually. It's a pretty unfair boss fight. I like Duke Fish Run. It's, um, it's tough but fair, kind of. How many owls are going to spawn here? And is that pink gel again? Why does pink gel keep dropping exactly here? Where should we go with the rest of this uh, Zerg potion? We've got like 12 minutes left. I could do the dungeon. Let's... Let's see what the dungeon looks like with Zerg Potion, Post Plantera, and we're ranged, which is like the worst thing we could be in here. Don't kill them owls, chat won't ever let you hear the end of it. Yeah, that's why I protect- that, that's why I capture them, so they'll be safe forever. Always shark fin? That's a good point, actually. I'm just trying to hit every enemy as soon as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Summoner is so much better for this area. The spawn rate, though. Almost got hit by the tactical skeleton. Oh, that's kind of scary. And I, it's not like I have time to switch to the bow to attack him specifically. Yeah, this is... this is... no, we're not doing that as a ranger. Maybe as summoner we could actually handle that. Um, but yeah, shark fins? I don't think we're gonna get... I don't suppose we're gonna get... Um, Oh, a sandstorm over here, that would be nice. No. So the one place to get shark fins would be... How many do I have? Only eight. I don't love that. Although... Items? In. What does it go into? We can buy hunter potions, we can buy water walking. 
Yeah, we don't really need to farm shark fins in Calamity. What boss is next on the list? Leviathan. This boss has no spawn item. Killing an unknown entity in the ocean biome. Oh, it's this thing. Uh, wow. Yeah, that was actually pretty scary when we were trying to kill Duke. Uh, Astrum Aureus. That thing looks a bit extra. Use an astral chunk at night in the astral biome. Stardust and Fallen Star. I think we have those. Let's put the Lace Wing away for now. Uh, Fallen Stars. Stardust. We've got lots of Stardust. I'll just double check I didn't already make this. Uh, where was it? Astral Chunk. I don't see an Astral Chunk in here. So let's probably make one of those. And I need to use this at night over in this place. Is it is this the thing that we have to use at that altar? The Halloween event is cool. Yes, it is. No, this is different. What are we picking up right now? Just Stardust Fragments, I think. Oh yeah, we still have the Zerg Potion active. Well, this might be a good opportunity to get however much we need of what these guys drop. We don't need wool from Scrap Metal anymore. Uh, could you die? Thank you. This is one. You have so many areas I've never seen. Yeah, most of that's Calamity. Or a bunch of it is Calamity. Like this, this is modded right here. I guess they are mod biomes. This one is. What time is it? It's only 10.13 a.m. Um... If we're waiting for night time, we're going to be here a while. They're actually... That wasn't a random Wolfram thing. They're actually dropping lots of this. I feel like going back to Mage... As long as we're not doing one-on-ones with bosses. Titan Heart. That's what we needed over here. The God of the Stars rejects your offering. The ritual can only be performed at night. I think we did find a Titan Heart before, actually. Alright, so there's two things that we need to do here at night. Maybe the Titan Heart does the same thing as the Astral Chunk. Actually. I need to fix my NPC homes as well. Alright, that's probably enough Stardust for quite a while, I imagine. Let's pick it up and go back. Should probably do a fishing quest. This is gonna be good, okay. 
I'll hold on to these unless... Yeah, I did pick up one of these before. Where is it? Titan Heart. I'll hold on to it for now. And I'm missing... Guide to Critter Companionship. Gimme, gimme. Mine used to be the Hallow, but I can... I became partial to just the purity. Favorite biome? I think my favorite biome is the glowing mushroom biome. It looks nice, it blocks the spread of biomes, and you don't need any lighting. Okay. Uh, I was going to do a fishing quest, wasn't I? Quest, surface, and underground. Let's go up here. Wondering if I need to be worried about biome spread, but I figured I'll just wing it for now. Uh, before hard mode, you don't have to worry about it. What was I doing? Fishing. And... We'll do it from the tank, just in case we have to shoot something. Uh, let's get some... bait. Once you're into hard mode, just get the contaminator quick. You can also do preventative stuff, like uh, if you dig a gap around what you don't want a biome to spread to, or if you like, if you put some glowing mushroom biome at the edge of the jungle, uh, it can stop like an evil biome from spreading into there. I just realized this is a way to have a double jump without a accessory slot for it. Probably a little bit awkward. I like how your tank can jump, lol, right? It can do more than just jump, it can shoot things for me. It actually shoots some poorly aimed but not that weak bullets, and uh, some homing missiles as well. How many fishing quests are we on now? 23. I think we're still a little ways from getting the stuff we're looking for. Automatically? Yes. Uh, let me get rid of the summons real quick. And we'll find something to attack. And I'm just going to select the fishing rod so that you can see I'm not the one attacking. It's just the toy tank. It's a drop from the uh, Robo Santa thing. Yeah, it's surprisingly formidable. There's actually, uh, you can find on YouTube someone killed as many bosses as they could with just the toy tank, uh, without attacking anything themselves. Alright, is it almost time? Three minutes. Ebonian Blight Slime. Shove that in the collection. And then... Let's get our summons back.
So what's this thing we're fighting called again? Astrum Aureus. Seems good. Let's just take every possible buff. Because we don't know what's going to be helpful. Uh, except maybe magic damage, since we're just using ranged. Oh, we do have some battle potions stashed away. I could go one more summon, but it's not enough to bother with. Uh, let's see, we've got food, health, regen, damage reduction, ammo reservation, damage, damage, knockback, thorns, featherfall, grav potion, light, titan, heart reach, stimulants, and that's about all I can think of. We could go inferno as well. On the off chance there's some um, missiles that it'll shoot down easily. And Danger Sense and Hunter are already in the Potion of Omniscience. We've got plenty of bullets, I would say. And I think that's about it. 30 seconds until we can summon it. These things are pretty weak, actually. Or rather, my summons are stronger than I would think, considering I'm not using any summoner gear. Alright, here we go. What was that? This seems safe. Uh, I guess we will use rockets since we're up against a segmented enemy. Or I could just focus on using the flamethrower. It's got quite a lot of health. It's... It's spamming an awful lot of lasers, but... Oh crap, up, 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 up. Why do I not have my buffs? There we go. Uh, but they're very slow lasers that we can dodge. rather leisurely. I take it back. We have to stay in the bio- oh crap! How did that happen? Where- where are we? This is fine, I think. Up we go! Pretty effective. It's leaving some kind of bombs behind or something. Yeah. It actually would be worth using the flamethrower helmet for this. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Alright. Oh, I see how it is. That's gonna get uncomfortable quickly. focus on dodging. Okay, luckily we had a dodge. Run. 
running out of space pretty quick. Sometimes. When's my potion cooldown? Never? Cool. Great. What? Okay. 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 I might have to leave. Actually. Is it gonna chase me? It is. Rather quickly. Is it gonna enrage outside of the... Oh my god! Holy crap! That's a yes. I can't teleport while this... Uh, what the... What? What was that? And it's still on? Hello? What the hell was that? Where are we? Okay, gonna run out of room here. That's not great. That's suboptimal. Alright. Okay. We're still in it, technically. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Still alive somehow. I can't believe how long we've been keeping this. So I guess we're allowed to fight it outside of the biome, that's a big help. But it probably punished us for teleporting. I think I'll... Okay, 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 okay. This is taking a while. I'm glad I have the rocket launcher. I would hate to have to focus on aiming at the same time. That was a lot of damage. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. It's been defeated? I thought it was on like half health. The seal of the stars has been broken. You can now mine astral ore. Well then. I, I guess we got there eventually. That knockback titan potion plus these rocket launches. Good grief. What was that? That would be passed as a link. This is fine dot dog, indeed. I think I need a minute to catch up with chat. Easy clap? That was not easy. That was much more difficult than expected. Especially considering that the enemies around this area are no threat at all. Um, don't necessarily think I want to do that again straight away. So we can mine this astral ore. I think I tried to mine it before. It's not linked to... It, it's not just based on, like... Uh... No, we do need a better pickaxe as well, it looks like. So it's time to go do the uh, golem. It's well past time to do the golem, I think. Alright then. Let's stack this away. What do we have? Treasure bag, Astrum Deus. 
stack this stuff away as well. Oh, where does Astrum Deus go on this list? What? Oh, that's a different boss entirely. We killed... We killed one that's considered to be harder than Duke Fisher on and just before the Moon Lord by the boss list. Okay, I think... See, I was expecting this level of difficulty and what we got was way down here. Okay. You went ahead of time, yeah, and I didn't even mean to this time. Killing Duke Fisheron was because it, it's, it's a rewarding challenge and it makes us OP for a while. Uh, this, this was a mistake that we managed to squeak through. I remember fighting Eater of Worlds. It was, it was a little bit like that means the others should seem easy. I'm not going to go that far. All right, so let's see. I, I actually didn't put Duke where he belongs if we're going by this list. Um, so I can't use Duke to decide where this goes. You know what? For the moment, I'm just going to put this guy up here as well. Treasure bag, Astrum, Deus. We got a 92 damage summon. Um, I'd love to see it in action. Oh my goodness. That's aggressive. It's not too powerful, but, you know, shoot things through walls. At, at the edge of the screen, no less. Off screen, even. And they take damage over time, and they get revealed by the damage over time. Um, that's pretty nice. That's a really good, like, utility summon for Spelunking. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, Intrepid Hide of Astrum Deus. Taking damage or inflicting a true melee strike drops an immense amount of astral stars from the sky. Uh, what do you mean by immense, exactly? Ah, got consumed by my dodge. Oh, okay. I wouldn't call it immense, but that is a few. Uh, and what was the rest of it? Uh... Taking damage boosts true melee damage by 50%. Boost duration is based on the amount of damage you took. The higher damage, the longer the boost. Immunity to the Astral Infection, Cursed Inferno, On Fire, and Frostburn debuffs. Enemies take damage when they hit you and are inflicted with the Astral Infection debuff. Uh, pretty good melee ability, uh, accessory, but... I don't think I'll be using it right now. What are Astral Stars? I think they're just like... more or less the same as... Uh, what you get from the Star Cloak, but maybe faster, more damaging. Um, just a bunch of stars that come from the sky to where you were or are. And damage enemies. The Microwave? <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's a yo-yo with AoE by the looks of it. Oh my god. Um, okay, so bear in mind that we're not wearing melee gear right now. Our DPS is... Just under, just almost 5,000. Does that stack with that trinket? Uh, it said true melee damage, didn't it? 
I think. From what I've been told, true melee damage is when you hit something with a sword directly. So no, like, melee projectiles or anything. Yeah, it looks like it's a true melee strike. So we can test it, I guess. Inflicting a true melee strike drops an immense amount of... Alright, let's grab any sword, katana. 35 true melee damage. That doesn't seem to be working. Oh, does it just not work on target dummies? Let's find something weak. Actually, up, up this way. Get, give, give me my wings back. Why is an enemy when you need one? There it is. Yes, it does. It's like Star Fury on steroids, kind of. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's put this in here. And this goes in melee accessories. Katana goes back in here somewhere. I should probably upgrade this. Give it a reforge. Ruthless. Fantastic. And can I desummon it and then let's grab this and this. And this will definitely go in our collection of summons that we actually use. That's good for spelunking, but I think I would probably use uh, the sanguine bats out in the open still. Also used at the astral beacon. We need only three of these to make an armor set. 12, 17, 14 defense. It's looking a bit old already. And it's a rogue set. I'm not too excited about that. All right, hard mode calamity stuff. So we didn't use the Astral Chunk yet, right? Um, so that's probably going to be a walk in the park now. I, I hope. I really should probably... No, it's fine. After this, I'll kill Gollum. Does this have to be at night? Enrages during the day. What if we want to enrage it? Nah. Uh, Let's see if we can't find the temple. So we can kill Gollum. And... There's no way the temple is this high up, right? I'm pretty sure it's always quite deep. We do need more um, life fruit. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong weapon. I feel like mage would be better for just all the time kind of moving around. But I can't be bothered switching right now. 
Can we get through here? There we go. I have already made a path through here, but I can't actually see it. Let's dig through here. As is light. Let's dig a little faster. Down we go. I think... I already looked around here. I think I should go to the left. keep thinking I have something like Toxic Harp or Bubble Gun in slot 1. Maybe I shouldn't have this here. I'm wasting Chlorophyte ammo. Not a whole lot though. take any incidental chlorophyte as we find it. You know what? Even faster, please. There we go. Oh my god! <laughs> the digging speed, though. This is a big area. more light fruit. Poor turtle. Where are we going? This general direction? This is probably faster than characters can generally move at the start of the game. Do I have my dodge up? I do not. Did we just dodge, or is it almost cooled down? Okay, it's cooled down. There we go. Ow. Whoops. And I'll be taking those. Probably organize my inventory a bit better. Alright, can we find a temple? Or the temple, I guess. Did a trap get you? Uh, yes, but no. No, but yes. Uh, so in Calamity, dodge isn't a random chance. Uh, you just get one hit that doesn't deal any damage to you. Uh, every once in a while. And it's on a specific timed cooldown that shares its cooldown with all other dodges. Um, so you can't, like, stack them. And... What I did was made sure that my dodge was ready and then opened the dead man's chest so that the explosion would deal no damage to me. And then I backed away from the uh, uh, the boulders. But right after that I opened it again and got hit by a dart. This minion, though, for spelunking. What should I drop right now? Um, unholy arrows. Totally redundant. Throwing knives. Alright. Give me that statue. Actually, let me just go back and put things away. 
Also, I'm still holding on to this. I probably shouldn't. Except I don't want to forget about it. What time is it? We got like one minute. So I'll just leave the portal there and we'll sort our inventory out. Sell this crap. What are you doing up there? Oh, they must have got killed when I came back here. How did we get ectoplasm? Stack, stack, stack. Is that silt? It is. I'll just put the silt here for the moment. Right above the extractinator. Strange plants. Mirage dye. I hate that you can't swap dyes like this. It makes it very annoying try to trying to compare them what does this look like nothing really oh I see yeah not too excited by this one mirage die What do we have here? Astral Ore. We need an Ancient Manipulator before we can do anything with that. So, a little bit before the final... what used to be the final boss. Um, dynamite and this will just sell. And have we cleaned out our inventory yet? Yes, we have. Fantastic. Enrages during the day. Does that mean it doesn't enrage? Holy crap! Whoa, whoa. That, that was uncalled for. Uh, how about arrows? I don't think we're going to have trouble hitting this. Jumps though. Ow. Did I just. No, I didn't run out of arrows. Why did it stop firing? It would be nice if we could see further and this thing wasn't taking up half the screen. Oh my goodness. What is this movement? I'm almost dead. 46 seconds until I can use a healing potion. Okay. Uh, really? It jumped up into the air. It looks like it finished it jumped and then was just floating down. And then it just moved again. That's fair and not at all something you just have to know in advance. Alright, let's pull out... So this thing, this thing was way down here on the boss list. You would think it would be a bit easier. Let's pull out all the stops. I don't think Inferno Potion is going to help and, it, and it's really distracting. Heart Reach isn't going to help, I don't think. Knockback, Thorns, sure. Damage, damage, damage. Ammo reservation. Damage resistance, regen, and so on. Stimulants. Uh, sure. Why not? Anti-gravity boss, right? It's just like... Flying and dodging away from it. Oh, it's at the apex of its jump and now it's falling. Nope, never mind. I don't appreciate how it takes up half the screen and we have to be too damn close to see what it's doing. Um, I think that's about it for our buffs though. And 
probably the sanguine bet. Alright, let's try this stupid thing again. Yeah, it... I, I'm trying to stay close to it, and it jumps off-screen immediately. What the hell? And why can't I fire? I think that's actually part of the boss. It stops you from attacking. Or did the sound just stop because it's... trying to make too many sounds at the same time. Okay, so far so... normal. It... It, it just cancels the jump that it's doing to suddenly go down for no reason. I saw... it, it, it was going to jump a certain way. I'm like, okay, I'll go under it. Nope, it changed its mind. It, it defied physics. That's cool. Let's grab our buffs again. This is the opposite of tough but fair. This is just... Haha, <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't watch someone beat this boss first, you fool. Alright. Once more with feeling. Up we go. And it just flies into our face from four screens away. Alright, that seems fair. Do I need the Rod of Discord to beat this? I'm just waiting for it to jump now. And it jumps again straight away. Bruh. Yeah, I can't outrun it, even if I see it jumping from a mile away. Let's just get as far away from it as we can. It teleported. <laughs> it teleported right on top of me. Alright. Where is it? I guess I could cheese it like this, just keep floating away as much as possible. We tried to fight it fair and square, but it didn't want to play. It's going to teleport to me any moment now. No, it's possible to run away from it as well. Okay. It's not that it's morning, we've still got two minutes. This looks easy, easy. <laughs> Calamity law contradicts the Terraria law? All the Astrum bosses are gravity themed, they control time and space. What soup terrorists? Jackie, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can I only fight it at night? Enrages during the day. Yeah, we don't want that. So I have to stay somewhat close to it while fleeing it at speed all the time. And I need a rod of discord teleport every five seconds, but it... But the cooldown is like 15 seconds. The timing is a little bit tight, but I can... It seems I can consistently dodge it with the rod of discord, but like... What am I supposed to do for the next 15 seconds? It has absolutely no warning, no wind-up, when it's going to do a physics-defying jump. Technically, you can fight during the day. Yeah, technically. What is this? An enchanted nightcrawler. Just lying around randomly. Do we find enchanted nightcrawlers here right now? I guess we've only got 15 seconds left. 
an owl. Uh, Daga, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's stack our things away. Yeah, not impressed. Uh, what else can we be fighting right now? Let's look for the temple. And while we're here... Uh, I guess I'll put the crystal... That's not crystal assassin. I'll put the spare crystal assassin set away. Shroomite goes in here. Here it is. And we'll go to mage for now. Uh, let's put the accessories in here. I'll probably stick with the Avenger emblem. Definitely stick with these. Weapons that I won't hold on to while I'm mage. Probably m most of them. And I don't really need a spare crystal assassin, uh, assassin shirt. Alright, menacing sorcerer emblem? I thought it said summoner emblem for a second there. Mana cloak. And... Oh, I never actually made better mage gear. Should we just go Hallowed, or do we have another option? We've got the Summoner slash Mage hybrid. 18 and 8, 26 defense. That's terrible. I could do Chlorophyte, unless I turned... All of my Chlorophyte into Shroomite. Wait, we should already have what we need to make... Um, Spectra Gear, I think? Chlorophyte plus Ectoplasm. Wasn't there another way to make it? I guess not. We can make it directly from Spectra Bars, which is Chlorophyte plus Ectoplasm. I think I'll steal from here, and we'll make Spectra Gear, if I can find it in this mess. Alright, Spectra Robe, Spectra Pants, you can make the Sergeant Uniting Shield, lol. Uh, and then... I need the headset. For that, I need chlorophyte bars. And I think we have to make um, chlorophyte headgear. Yeah. The mage version. Helmet, mask, headgear. And then we can turn that into spectra mask. Uh, and don't bother with the Spectra Hood unless you're playing multiplayer. Actually, I probably would like to see if... If it's a bit different in Calamity. Maximum mana, mana usage, magic damage and crit strike. Magic damage done hurts enemies nearby. This looks the same. So I'm expecting the uh, the healing version to be the same. Also, what is with this face? Um, 
Can we do something about that? Much better. Oh, and that's a lot of ladybugs. Let's grab them. Uh, alright. Redo our summon. And I think we're good. Nope, we need to actually have our mage weapons. Which I left over here. Bubble gun. Razor blade typhoon. Life drain, I guess. And slot 5 should be something very piercing. So pretty much the opposite of this. Uh, I wish I could remember all the mage items I've put away. Something like laser rifle, but stronger. Oh, shadow beam stuff. We should have that. Or I could use the blizzard stuff as well. It's kind of strong. We've already got the razor blade typhoon for piercing things, I guess. Alright, let's head back to the jungle. Pick up whatever this is. And continue looking for... a temple. And leaving a trail of destruction in our wake. dig a little faster. That's more like it. Let's not hit the plantera bulb though. It's as is light. Do I have my dodge? I do not. Let's not blow this up. in here? I can. There we go. It really is taking a long time to find the dungeon. Maybe I should look from below and come up. I think we're at about the leftmost point of the jungle. Let's head straight down right after we kill this mimic. I think we need some marble. Take that, and the money, and the grav potions. Can't be bothered with the rest. Not when we're going this fast. That is a weird marble area. We're still in the jungle? How big is this jungle? Let's not hit the plantera bulb. 
We might actually just go through the lava here. There we go. I'm going to end up with so much chlorophyte just from incidentally running into it and mining it. I didn't even mean to dig into here. <laughs> Alright, fine, let's uh... Where, where's the queen bee? Oh, here it is. The jelly or whatever. Should probably use bubbles. There we go. And through here as well. the temple. Probably here somewhere. Why don't we just go laterally as fast as we can? The, uh, the grand design will show us where the temple is with the wiring if we come up below it. is in here. I can't reach it. There we go. Oh, another staff of regrowth. I'll take that. Uh, quick stack. There we go. Close enough. Where's this fairy trying to lead us? Is that it? Oh, we're getting this uh, perennial ore as well. That's good. I should definitely look out for that. I feel like calling it Christmas ore, what with the uh, red and green. Another trap? That's a lot of explosives. Oh, it's... it's two explosives and two dart traps. Dodge cooldown is ready. Fantastic. And not much of a loot. Not that I was expecting it. And we're leaving stuff on the ground again. Let's go back. Staff of regrowth, I guess I'll put in here for the moment. We can buy nature's gift because this is calamity. Blood zombie statue. Can go in here. Bombs. With the demolitionist. Quick stack all the things. Boomerang statue. And what else do we have here? I should just sell some of these things. They're so easy to get. We've got too many of them in Calamity. What is this? Mudstone brick. Oh, I guess I do have that somewhere. 
sky blue flower. Don't we need that for dragon fruit? Uh, we also need solar for... Okay, never mind. I'll save it, but still. We need the orange blood root, I think it's called. Um, to get our max health up. In fact, why don't I go down and have a look for it while well, we've still got the potion up? What is that? Oh, it's just a bit of tin. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Can we get any more? That is a pot. There's some orange blood root. Fantastic. That is cobweb. That is a worm. I'll take that. And apparently this is where that biome starts now. Did we find the temple? We did not find the temple. I do have a couple of orange bloodroot though. That was a while ago but I was cooking. Fair enough. Uh, what are we making? Blood orange. We need ten blood orbs. Five souls from the mechanical bosses and five life fruit. How many life fruit do I have? Where am I keeping them? And what is this? Queen bee. Treasure bag. Uh, one goes... Wait, what? Oh, my worms are in here. My stars are in here as well. Because I stopped carrying them. Sell the jungle torches. Um, stack this crap away. I'm pretty sure we already have a beekeeper in here somewhere. Yeah, we've got too many beekeepers. I only need one to upgrade later on pretty sure. And get out of here, Queen Bee Relic. Take the worm. I'll put worms in here so they quick stack. Now what was I looking for again? Oh yeah, Life Fruit. Where am I keeping it? Hard Mode? Hard Mode Vanilla. Here we go, 29 Life Fruit. And where did I put orange blood root? We've got four. So we can make four of these, I think. We need 40 blood orbs. We've got 46. Fantastic. And then we need souls of might, sight, and fright. And where do we... Why do we make this? Mithril Anvil. Blood Orange. Let's go. Oh, that's it? Wait, what did I run out of? Soul of Fright. Uh... You already have consumed a Blood Orange. Eating any more would not be good for you? No! Okay, I guess these are all unique and I just wasted my resources. That's unfortunate. Um, let's build a monument to our folly so we don't do this again. Why do you eat that? Because it gives me plus 25 max life. That's the idea. Alright. 
stack away the things. Why is the Sanguine Bat the thing that remains if I summoned the Sun God first? I'm pretty sure. But they are all unique, yeah. So there's like a bunch of different things like that. But after you have 500 max health. All right. If the if the temple isn't here, I I will be disappointed. Let's go. Light. Mining speed. Extra mining speed. Go. Is that another? That is indeed another trapped chest. Oh, and I still got hit by a... a dart trap. After all that. Found another bulb. As is light. Let's head up a little bit more. Well, on the plus side, we're going to have plenty of chlorophyte for a little bit without bothering to farm it. Hey, listen. That's a mimic. Oh my goodness. Let's get a little bit of defense, but I don't want to go overboard consuming everything. So I guess we've probably got all the life fruit we need at this point, since I've got like 30 now. I do wish loot all would put things into the void bag. Oh, a base. What's this? Nothing? Have I been here? Oh, I have. So the temple is not here. I, I guess we go to the right. How do I get through again? There we go. I have never had this much trouble finding the temple. Maybe there is no temple in Calamity. Maybe the temple is a lie. Do you have Alchemist NPC on? Alchemist NPC? The temple is a lie, indeed. Oh, you take more damage than expected. There we go. I find it a little funny that even with mage gear equipped, the Tsunami is still the best way to deal damage to a single target. Throwing a party, traveling merchant, too many reasons to go back. I think I'll dig down a bit more. WTF is that? It's, uh, turns out it's not actually a boss, it's just, just kind of a tough enemy that shows up sometimes. I thought it was a boss. I ran away from it, uh, when I saw it off stream, so that I wouldn't be fighting a boss without anyone seeing when it's new. But no, it just has a bunch of hit points and moves slowly at you through the walls.
I deleted the temple? How could you? No, literally. I could probably run away from Plantera with this. Like, just tearing through the jungle. Quite easily, actually. This is getting over the top. I guess I haven't seen the right edge of the jungle down there. Just give me all the chlorophyte while we're at it. How big is the temple? It's like... How can I... Let me zoom out until the... I literally can't zoom out until the player character's icon is as big as the temple. It's bigger than that, and it's a big triangle. I guess it's possible that it's up here, but I doubt it. No, I, I think it's bigger than that. I wouldn't exactly say it's hard to miss, like, it depends on how long, how much of the jungle you've explored. But it is very hard to miss it with this much of the jungle explored. Especially when we're deliberately looking for it. I don't think it could be here, like, I, I think it's taller than that. But this is what it's reduced me to, and I'm gonna look. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Is not the temple in the desert? No, it's in the underground jungle. Unless they changed that for Calamity, but it would be weird if they still had Plantera drop the temple key. I've been here. Yeah. Well, let's find the right edge of the jungle so we know the limits of where it can be. There was a time when I left things relatively intact. That was before we looked for the temple for hours. But what feels like hours? That's the edge of the map. Okay. So the jungle almost goes all the way to the edge of the map. That is a very big jungle. I think you're just unlucky, yeah. not even picking up things that I would normally be like, ooh, I'm glad I have a spare of that, because I just want to keep moving and find the bloody thing.
maybe in here. I think we have figured out where it probably is then. I hope so. I think my mining potion ran out. Well, that's been 10 minutes straight of mining. Like this. What the? How t did I just teleport? How did I teleport? Or, or did I just have a stroke or something? Oh. I accidentally triggered gravity reversal. Because I forgot that I had it. Oh, I did have wood in my inventory this whole time. Alright, what are we dropping? Rich mahogany door? Get out of here. Down we go. Is that a king statue? That is a king statue. be a distinct lack of ores when we do find the temple as well, even if we don't see the wires. A king statue, yeah, so there's a king statue and there's a queen statue, and if you give them a signal with the wire, uh, it actually teleports a male or female NPC to the statue, so you can sort of have everyone in one place, but only not. This was a lot more relevant before we had the pylons. Please do not be dropping my void bag. There we go. Don't need jungle torches, I have the torch god thing. Um, Alright. It's becoming very... No, it's like 100% the temple isn't here. I guess it could be up here? I'm seeing a different biome up there, though. Up we go! Have I been here? Yeah, I have. And I think in here as well. Oh, there was gold in there. And this is the end of it. Kota lol, thank you for the follow. Welcome, Malcolm. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this is actually the end of the jungle. What is this? Oh, I just made a boulder hit me. I guess it could be down this way. Theoretically, I'm not convinced. It seems easier to go up and down. Ooh, strange plant. Yeah, I don't think there's a temple here either. So that leaves like here. Probably not here. Here? It's possible. And directly below us, I, I don't know if there's room for it there. Oh, Christmas 
Christmas ore. Give me that. Another life fruit. Who knows how many we need. Probably not 40 though. That is a big chunk of chlorophyte. I don't think we're going to have any more chlorophyte problems. I'm not even going to stop for a mim uh, mimic. They drop. We've got everything they dropped ages ago. Consume every single potion this time. Mining potion, go. I feel like I'm missing something for the mining speed. It's not stimulants, is it? I haven't run out of them. But maybe the buff has run out? Oh, nothing for it. Let's keep going. Oh, the traveling merchant departed. The party is probably going to finish in a second as well. Where is the party? Oh, it doesn't matter. We just have to talk to the party girl to get our cake. And uh, I can I can do the bacon thing whenever. Strange plant. Acid dye. We didn't have that already. Let's put it in here. 702 chlorophyte ore. Seems good. Let's stack these things away. Slag magnum. Oh yeah, I remember this. I think we have one of these already. And it's not a material or anything. Buddy time's over. We just caught it. Speaking of which, give me that cake. Almost cleared our inventory. Last but not least, green seeds. Alright, let's have a quick look. We've just torn through like literally like 80% of the jungle. And I'm pretty sure the temple can't be this high up. I think. So it pretty much has to be around here, I guess. It's often um, quite close to the underworld, so I think we'll just keep going left from that portal. Just mine it all, giant strip mine. That'd be kind of nasty. 
Not to mention it would take a little while. I saw one, someone who was strip mining the entire world and it was a process. Seems like it would be super terrible at your rate, yeah. There's a there's a weapon you get from the Moon Lord that spams missiles like crazy. And you can get missiles that destroy blocks when they hit things. Uh he was using that. But even so, it it it, it takes a while. It's a pretty big place. Oh we're back here. Alright. If it's not here, it's somewhere else. Only way I would do that is with the mount that mines everything. Yeah, it's gotta be around here. Please. Could, could you die? Actually, there we go. Osiris King, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Uh, Shirk. I guess we gotta find out where the limit of the jungle is on the left as well. Let me in. Oh, lava charm. That's kind of rare. But isn't that just? We've already got the thing that that makes, right? And I think we can make it in... Calamity. I didn't know- oh! This is- this is the thing! This is what we're looking for! Look how far it was! Like, okay. The underground temple is somewhere in the underground jungle. This is the jungle on the surface. And this is where the temple is. Way down here, way to the left. Oh my goodness. Let's get in there. I might just take a little break before we actually do the temple. What does overconfidence have to do with this? Oh, I really was thinking maybe Calamity puts it in the desert or something. But they were probably just thinking of the 
the pyramid that you only sometimes get in the jungle. I had to get up. Where was the temple? All right, let me just block this off real quick. So here's the jungle on the surface. You can see the edge of it way over here. Actually, is that getting eaten up by... No, I protected it. I turned this jungle into glowing mushroom, which blocks the crimson. Uh, so this is the jungle. And this is... This is everywhere that we explored looking for the temple. <laughs> and this is where the temple is. We're standing almost on the top of it now. I don't think they have a cooldown, uh, which... Zayla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I didn't already say so. Uh, we've run out of light, but I don't want to use more buff potions right now. Well, I can use the light buff potions, but I don't want to use anything else. Except for maybe digging? No, we found the entrance. Okay, we got there eventually. And it's actually pretty close. Look at how close it is to our cavern pylon in the middle of the map. It's less than halfway from the center of the map to the edge. Alright. This portal will stay there until we use it or until we accidentally use another potion of return. Uh, we're just gonna organize our inventory. Do some words on stream. I'm gonna take a little break and we'll come back and do the temple. And more to the point, the golem. Tattered bee wing? Let's grab some... We've only got 22 souls of flight left. Permanently gives the honey buff. That's actually pretty good. What are the speed values like? Oh, hang on. It's a little slower than fish run wings. Acceleration is way less, though. I, I love all the things that the different wings do in Calamity, but... I have fish run wings, that's really hard to compete with. Material? Yes, any wings um, goes into this Seraph Traces. Acceleration, multiplier, and horizontal speed is even higher than fish run. Uh, flight time is actually lower. But it's still a material. Ludicrous speed counts as wings. Good vertical speed. 24% um, increased running acceleration. I think that's just what movement speed means in this game. Greater mobility on ice, water and lava walking, immunity to the on fire deep. Oh, it's actually an upgrade. Oh no. Hold on. It's an upgrade to the boots, which means I won't be able to have the wings out. I mean, we'll gain an accessory slot, but like, I won't be able to have whatever these wings do. Uh, so that gets upgraded even further still. And it's still a material. That is some ludicrous speed. And then... Okay, this is the final, final, final version. Speed 12, 3, 250 flight time. All the boot things. Being hit for over 200 damage will make you immune for an extended period of time. Wow. Um, we're not making that for a few minutes, but yeah. Uh, when it, when you see wings say they're a material, it's actually just any wings. 
Um, do I have a bandage in here? Nope. Traveling merchant has arrived. Somewhere. Oh, there he is. Frost barrier. Did I buy this already? I think. Probably. Whatever, it's 12 gold. I'd rather make sure. I do have a slight problem with the ninja gear sometimes. I don't actually want to stick to the walls. I want to slide down them to go into the door like that. It's fine. And apparently I didn't have this frost barrier. Alright, sell, 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 sell. Quick stack the things away. Sell the unholy arrows. We can buy better. And I think now's about time to have a little break. I mean, it's way over time to have a little break. Let's do some words on stream. And I'll be back in a few minutes after we start. As soon as I set this up. Okay, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. And after that, we'll hit Golem.
Fantastic. One more? One more. Fantastic. Absolutely crushed that one. All right, let's continue with Terraria, shall we? And we finally got the temple. Uh, so where's that temple key? Here it is. I don't think we need more than one, but whatever. Uh, the temple itself, most of the contents are not terribly threatening by the time you're able to get there. If you're able to get access to the temple, the contents of the temple are no threat at all. Um, at least until the boss. So we're just going to plow through that. Um, let me just get rid of all these wires first. So we're not dealing with the traps. I actually missed one up here. As is light. And what else? Potion of Omniscience? Why not? Uh, I can't see far down enough to fix all of that. It's fine. I will take whatever's in these chests. Get rid of the spikes as we go. Apparently I bumped into one. Whatever. Oh, we can't actually break this, can I? So I can't... I, I can be careless here. Take the traps as well. I'm not able to do that yet. I can't actually squeeze Razor Blade Typhoon through there, so... I guess we're back to the better magic missile. It's a pretty good magic missile anyway. Michelle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Tater tried his best to even the playing field. Wait, what? I think I missed something. All right, get out of here, spikes. Get out of here, wires. Uh, 
Ow. Rude. Should I try killing the golem without ranged gear? Just a full mage. Just for something a little bit different. Razor Blade Typhoon should do the job pretty well, actually. Especially with uh, Spectra gear. Do it? Okay. I don't. Re I still don't have a like direct damage at decent range mage weapon that's on par with the other stuff I've got right now. But it's probably fine. I wonder if the spikes... They... Calamity makes the dungeon spikes a material that you can use. Not these ones, though. What did I just step on? Oh, the spikes here. Get out of here. Oh, that's a spike. Rude. Doesn't look very spiky. Can we just shove all of this into the void bag? Make it a bit easier to loot the next one. Whoops. Probably could have been le uh, leaving a trail of lights as I went. Oh yeah, I have Rod of Discord. I can skip as much of this as I want to, really. I kind of want to just pick it all up as we go, though. Get in the void bag. Spikes. Ouch. And that right there is the boss fight room. Oh, I did. There we go. A good spell for hitting something above me. T-Hacks, I deployed my circuit system to do more trains. Still works, it works great. I'm amazed. I'm not that amazed. Good job. forward to picking it apart with your notes. Get out of my face. There we go. Ow. Sneaky spikes. Ow. Ow. How is that no. Get in the void bag. Thought there was something there. And then...
we're not going to have any shortage of solar tablets. Actually, I just realized this is Calamity, so we're only going to need one item to ever summon the solar e uh, eclipse. So I'm not sure what I'm looting all of this for. Probably just a compulsion that I can't shake. It's fine. Get out of here, spikes. I also have one rocket full of prod three modules. <laughs> rocket full? Seems good. Why are we rocketing prod modules? Oh, that is a huge entrance. Normally it's a little tight thing. Wow, um, that is, this is probably the, this is the tallest and neatest, does Calamity do this? This is the tallest and neatest golem room I've ever seen. What the hell? Alright, let's grab the wires. Fill whatever's down here. I guess you can drag that for more than one screen. In Calamity they made it so you don't need to make an arena. I mean, you can't make an arena much with the golem, not as much as usual. That's sort of the point. You have to deal with what they give you. You can add some platforms and stuff, but that's about it. It's usually a bit cramped. Sanguine Bat OP with the Yaren's Stimulants knockback. Alright, so I think we've made this place a bit safer. Let's give it some light. I don't think that counts as making an arena, does it? is light indeed. Alright. I might actually use a calming potion here just so we don't have a million extra enemies while we fight the boss. And before we do, just to be safe, I'll go back and make sure I get whatever unusual buff potions. Perennial ore goes here. We can sell this. What are we selling? That's not what I meant to do. Deposit all. Sort. Sell these. Trash these because we've got one that's infinite. Sell these. Sell that. Lizard egg. That's cute. Alright, let's get some of that out of our inventory. Uh, we only ever need one solar tablet. And solar tablet fragments do actually make some other stuff. 
and I don't think this sells for anything. Nope. Let's go put this stuff away. I guess I'll put the touch plates in here. Made 16 million prod 1s. Most of them turned into 2.3k prod 9s. Wow. Stacky, stacky. Lizard banner can go in here. Actually, I might keep that in case they wander into the bus fight. And... Chests go here. Lizard furnace. Special crafting stuff goes, I think, here somewhere. Solar tablet fragments. Vanilla hard mode. We're running out of room. Lizard statue. Sure. And... Crash that. Brick. Wait, it gave us a bunch of bricks? Can I even mine these? No, I can't mine them. I can place them, but I can't mine them yet. Oh no. That could have been bad. Bums, explosives down here. Wooden spike. I don't think I'll be using those, but maybe we want something to menace with spikes. And pet thing. I'm actually going here. Alright. What buffs could we possibly want? Calming potion, so that we don't have enemies wandering in as much. Magic power and mana regen. Can't reach, question mark? I don't think so. Uh, thorns, we've got... Hunter potion is built into omniscience. Uh, I don't think Inferno... Actually, I could be wrong. Does dealing one damage to the fists make them go back? Inferno Potion could actually be OP against the Golem. I don't think Titan Potion makes a difference. Another summon might not be bad. I nearly softlocked my world with those blocks, lol. And I think that's about it. I should prepare my summons before we start. Why is it always back to just the Sanguine Bat? Like, shouldn't they disappear in the order that they were last summoned? Let's just go two Sanguine Bats. Uh, the Eclipse thing can go in here, and I think we're ready. Back to... It feels weird having Fallen Stars not go in my ammo slot. Uh, back to the arena. We've got Grav, we've got... I don't think we need Featherfall. Whatever, they're cheap. Calming Potion... Lizard banner can go here. And away we go. There's so much room. I'd rather keep him close enough that I can see what he's doing though.
Yeah, Typhoon's doing a great job of hitting all of those sections at once. And then we'll maybe use Bubbles for the rest? No. Oh. Bubbles don't reach so well. Maybe I should use the bow. Oh, this is... I forgot I was upside down. That actually makes this weapon really good. It wouldn't work in a smaller arena, I think. Yeah, this works. So luxurious, this arena. It's almost as easy as... No, it is pretty much as easy as fighting him on the surface. There we go. Once again... Does he get frostburnt by that? I think he does. Alright, time for bow. Ow. Actually, I think it might actually do comparable damage using this, especially since we're using the Spectra armor. It's not the usual mage spell that we would use for massive direct damage, but I guess it works. potion ran out. Probably never needed it, to be honest, with this arena. Don't know exactly what all this means, but you're killing it. Yeah, the golem is... Kind of a gimme. If you know what you're doing, by the time you get here, uh, like, the boss that you have to beat to be allowed to come here is much tougher. Although, depending on your gear, it can be a lot tougher than this. Um, if you don't have OP damage, you have to hold out for quite a lot longer. Also, with Calamity, we get more bonuses with, um, like, warding gives us more defense and a percentage-based damage reduction as well. This is actually not that bad damage either. And we don't have to think about where we're aiming. I've got 10 more of these left. I don't think I'll kill him that many times. Let's just kill him until we get all the loot.
I need a better mage spell. Actually, I probably should check the loot bags that he's already dropped. Probably dropped Heat Ray or something like that. Alright, what do we got? Uh, Shiny Stone is now a material. Oh right, I've seen this. The camper. Is this the last component that we need? Yeah, it is. Shiny stone, ten campfires, five heart lanterns, uh, sharpening station, crystal ball, ammo box, bewitching table, and 50 food items. Gives us 10 defense... 90% less damage unless you're not moving. Standing still grants buffs dependent on the weapon you're holding. Standing still provides a damaging aura around you. While moving, you regen health as if standing still. Huh. Provides a small amount of light in the abyss. That might be useful, in the abyss in particular. So, uh, all the checklists and notes, you have a mod, yes. Uh, so the mod is called... I think it's called Boss Checklist, or Boss Log, something like this. Um, let's see what else we got. We got the Pixar, we need that. I don't want a shameful one, though. We got Golem Trophy. Uh, I think he always gives you shiny stone. Staff of Earth. This is the derpiest spell, but it does a lot of damage. Uh, Stinger is a material now. I was going to say it's not that great by the time you get it. Eye of the Golem. I'm surprised we only got one of those so far. I need it to make Destroyer Emblem, which gives us 10% damage, 8% crit. It is now a material. Oh, it was always a material. It makes the Sniper Scope, which is a material now. Recon Scope. Grants all of that plus... Enemies less likely to target you. That doesn't actually do anything in single player. We did get the heat ray though. Oh yeah. That's probably going to be our single target DPS as mage for now. Uh, can we sort this? Staff of Earth. I think I probably still prefer the blizzard staff because it's a lot more mana efficient. It's also a material. We need icicle staff, ice rod, blizzard staff, and a bunch of exotic stuff. Uh, possessed hatchet is a nice melee weapon. Okay, that's just rude. Could, could you... Could you not, actually? I've never seen a glowing mushroom biome right next to the uh, temple before. What else have we got in here? Oh, truffle worm. Gimme. Alright, uh, back in we go. I'll leave a golem relic here. Why not? And we can actually take, using the Pixar, uh, we can take this with us. And we can much more easily kill the... Oh, we got a legendary! No need to reroll that one. Uh, we can actually summon Golem wherever we want now. And he's much more easy to deal with up on the surface. 
Um, heat ray. Let's make a mythical. Ooh, what's this? What are you selling? What's new? Uh, I don't know what's new. Steampunk wings. 8 defense, 10% increased movement speed, 4% increased damage, 2% increased crit, flight time 180. Uh, fish on wings still beat it with the acceleration multiplier by quite a bit. Golem, a primitive construct. I don't know, I don't know that you could construct that if you're primitive, actually. Let's get... Let's make sure I don't already have a mythical heat ray. No, we're good. Reforge. Mythical. Let's see what kind of deeps we get. Without the... Actually, why not with this buff? Oh, I need the DPS meter. Is it in my void bag? It is. It's like 18, 1900 single target. but it's literally a hit scan. Whereas the bubbles, the bubbles go a lot higher, but we have to get close. Hmm. Oh, we can upgrade it. Chlorophyte bar. We need solar fragments, that's all. And we get... Lazar. Fires a bouncing laser that explodes on enemy hits. Nice. Very fast 190 damage. So about the same damage as this really, except it's gonna hit more things. Um, I think I would like to put this here until we go back to Ranger. Oh, that's not. Let's put this in here. Uh, we already got the best pixel. Whoops. I might want to hold on to at least an extra ray gun. Lizard altar can go up here. Let's get rid of everything that... God, I've got no room in this inventory. We don't need ammo reservation potions. I'm not playing ranger right now. That was a bit of a waste. And archery potions, same thing. I don't think inferno potions really helped. Same goes for summoning. Legit just got here off my rex and completely agree. Found you on my wreck, and you have a really chill stream. That's the idea. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not, not Monchelle, and old Gregor. Welcome, welcome. Uh, all right. So I definitely want to keep at least one staff of earth, if only for the collection. I never end up using it. It's just too mana hungry. For what it does. Uh, Golem Fist and Stinger. Golem Fist is not a material. I feel slightly sad for the melee class. 
Stinger though can go in here. Heat ray. Oops. Uh, we can make the camper thing now. We need 50 food items. Uh, I'm probably going to get something that stacks rather than the food items I've been hoarding for exactly this purpose. Let's see. Cooked fish. 27. And 65. Fantastic. And then... 10 campfires. 5 heart lanterns. Uh... How many campfires can I make? Eleven. Five heart lanterns. Where are the hearts we've been hoarding? Or can I make some? Where are the hearts I've been hoarding? Oh, I've got eight heart lanterns here. That works. And then one of each of these stations. So I think, well, I've got a spare one here anyway, but I think we can just buy... Hello, what are you selling that's new? We can buy the bewitching table. You're selling butterfly dust now. Honey-like life regen with no speed penalty. I didn't know the honey regen gave you a speed penalty. Poison and venom immunity. 5% damage, 9 defense, increased life regen while in the jungle. I'm never bothering with that. Okay, what's this? Resurrection butterfly. 7 mana, 97 summon damage. That might be worth a look. Uh, we need 20 ectoplasm. I don't know where to get life alloy. 2 butterfly dust and 20 silk. Okay. I only came here for the bewitching table for the moment. Um, I'll put some of these shiny stones away. And we need one more of each of those stations. The demolitionist just sells landmines? Hey Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that's what blind means, yes. Uh, and we're post Plantera now, so if we do the Attorney of Crystal, we have to face Betsy. Where do I get the rest of these stations? I know Arms Dealer sells the ammo box. He's also now selling the rifle scope and the sniper rifle. Well, I didn't have to look for those, did I? Uh, Wizard is also selling Magnet Sphere, Shadow Beam Staff, Inferno Fork. All of the drops from the dungeon right here. Uh, but I came here specifically for another crystal ball. And last but not least, I need the sharpening. I think the merchant sells it. Yeah, there we go. So is that everything? Old Gregor, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Tinkerer's Workshop. The camper. Fantastic. That actually does sort of synergize with um, Shroomite armor, I guess. Oh. Did I fight the... Did I fight the golem without another 19% damage the whole time? That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, anyway, let's see what kind of health regen we get from this.
It says while moving you regenerate health as if standing still. Let's see what that looks like first. It definitely starts regenerating quicker. Wait, do we have a regen potion? No, we don't. Heart lamp. Uh, we've got a permanent heart lamp buff with this on us. That's interesting. Now if we stand still... We're not regening. What? What was that? Holy crap, that was the... the camper? Oh my god! Everything's just dying. Uh, we're a bit weak right now, apparently. What is this? Is it just a corruptor? Why are we doing so little damage? Oh, wait. You deal 90% less damage and less stationary. Yeah, 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 I forgot. That is an interesting choice. I guess we could do some fire by movement? So any projectile that you can shoot down just can't hit us. Combine that with like... Shroomite armor... Sniper rifle with homing bullets. Oh, I forgot. Again. Alright, well... I'm not going to be using this often, but occasionally it's going to be rather useful. Rather, be Oh, crap. Um, let's get that out of our inventory. I don't think we're going to be standing still for this boss. That might be a bad idea. Alright, we're good. Back we go, and... I kind of want to hold on to it most of the time, so I'll put the lava pre fishing hook back here. Actually, maybe I should swap it out for the uh, with the wings when I use it, because I'm not going to be flying. That makes sense, I guess. Alright, let's put things away. And... Corrupted Banner, I guess I don't have a quick stack for. What else do I have here? I already have these. I think we were short. Treasure Bag, the Hive Mind. Oh, because I just killed it. I forgot. Put the DPS meter back. And... Eye of the Golem. Fantastic. I might want to keep the Avenger emblem in case I want to stack even more damage. Especially on other classes. Um... So I need another one of these. How many spare emblems do I have? I've got one warrior emblem. Uh, I thought I had multiple sorcerer emblems. This is not the mage room. Yeah, here. Yeah, here we go. And we need... Um, one of each mechanical boss soul, if I recall correctly. Let's put the Golem Relic wherever it goes. Golem is three past the Ice Queen. The third one after the Ice Queen. And then we can sell these. Let's 
sell that, put this away. Quick stack, I can't quick stack this. Yes, I can. Put the thorns away. Rather fall. Uh, what else? I think I already put away a couple of stingers. Can we just loot all? Oh, I meant to sell the stingers. Whatever, it's fine. Don't need another statue. Beetle husk. This can make some good stuff. Shattering potion. Melee and rogue attacks break enemy armor. Interesting. Uh, what's this? Titan scale potion. Knockback defense and damage reduction. Increases defense by an additional 20 and damage reduction by an additional 5% for 10 seconds after a true melee strike. Nice. And we need to make some total scale mail to make some really, really tanky armor. Um, but first... Alright, that's our void bag empty. Fantastic. Uh, beetle husk goes in vanilla hard mode chest. All this other crap we can quick stack away. What is that? Rot ball. And bombs go down here. Alright, so I need... Oh, I think I quick stacked the uh, emblem that I picked up. So I need one soul from each mechanical bus, if I recall. Five, actually. So we need to do... Oh no, we're one, we're one off. We need to do Skeletron Prime, but it's five, it's six a.m. Oh no. And that happens at Tinkerer's Workshop. Alright. We'll do Skeletron again. Skeletron Prime. In the evening. I'll put these in one place. And... I guess for the moment... We'll delete the golem a few times. I don't know, is this better single target DPS? I have my doubts. We could try using the bubble gun. It's just going to be harder to avoid damage. A lot harder to avoid damage. But a lot more damage dealt. Yeah, I think Razorblade Typhoon still beats the Heat Ray for a single target. Got another Eye of the Golem. Fantastic. 
didn't actually see what hit me there. I think this is probably faster. thinking about getting closer, but I guess I got persuaded not to. Up we go. I've still got eight more summons. I'll use the boss log and check that we've already got everything, actually. Oh. That was not where I thought it would be. Slug, Golem, Loot. There's something called an Aegis Blade. Alright, I guess we keep killing him. Also, I definitely hadn't seen the pet. I forgot about that. This rope is more trouble than the boss. Yeah, I should probably, like... I should probably make it so I have to fly as high as possible to grab it from now on. Alright, we're at full health. Let's try and get some serious damages in. Alright, that's, that's a little too aggressive. Watch out with this guy, he's got rocket-powered fists. He indeed does. Alright, let's fly up. And... Grab it. Move down a little bit. And get rid of the rope from here on. We don't need it anymore, and it's actually causing problems. Oh, this would have been a better way to do it. Float on down. And whoops. Oh, hello. Can I... No, I can't use the smart cursor. Alright, I think that's almost all of it. I'll be taking your soul. Thank you. I need to open the bags. I can't open them. Sunstone! I didn't have that yet. And I think we need that for... For what? What is it called? 
the Celestial Stone, which is still a material. Moonstone, if one during the night grants minor increase to damage, melee speed, crit chance, life regen, defense, mining speed, minion knockback. Immunity to Night Wither. I don't know what that is. Uh, Sunstone is... If one during the day, damage, melee, crit, life regen, defense, mining speed, minion knockback, and holy flames immunity. And then we can combine them. And lose nothing, I imagine. And it just works all the time. So what does this turn into? Oh yeah, Celestial cell, uh, Shell. This was actually vanilla. Except they changed it slightly. So we also get... A werewolf... Become a werewolf or a merfolk. Reduces breath loss in the abyss, grants immunity to... Yeah, okay. This is actually the final form of it. I kind of thought it would keep going for longer. Oh, I need something else to get a moon shell. We've got it already. Here it is. Moon shell... Celestial shell. And I'm pretty sure Moonshell doesn't turn into anything else. Nope. Okay. I've got a spare that I can make. So we could have like a warding and a medicine one if we want. What do we gain stat-wise? We got 56 defense. This is menacing, right? 60. And what about damage? Well, we went from menacing to this. Um, how about the warding boots? Take those off for a sec. 202... And 30% crit. 213 and 32% crit. 1% crit and like 5% odd damage. 4 defense. Uh, a little melee and mining speed. Life regen. Minion knockback. It's very minor in everything it does. All right, let's put these away. And sell the extras. That's a lot of Eye of the Golems. I had trouble getting enough of these last time. Loot all... Uh, sell these, I guess, first. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the heat ray, though. It's a little disappointing. Let's grab the bow, as always. And then whatever's in here needs to go somewhere. Uh, we already did the Golem Relic. And this goes here. Our Boss summoning and etc. chest is getting rather full. 
It's almost night time. What were we waiting on? Skeletron Prime. We can probably kill him without even using buff potions. Five seconds. I think I should do a fishing quest first. Caught in surface, bunny fish. Let's go. Give me those worms. Actually, give me the journeyman bait since we've got so many. There it is. High test fishing line. I think I've been looking for this for a long time. Let's see, uh, where was I keeping the rest? Well, we've got the angler earring. We need the tackle box. Do we not have a tackle box? Really? Well, yeah, we're still an accessory away from getting tackle bag. That's quite shocking. Uh, and that would be the final form, because we already have the Lava Proof Fishing Hook in vanilla. But there's even more we can do after that in Calamity. I don't know if I have Sea Prisms, but they don't look like they're very rare. We've got everything else. So we're just waiting on Tackle Box. He's already like 70%. A lot easier to get a lot of hits with the bubble gun when something's chasing you. Like so. There we go. Alright, give me those souls. And then... Give me... An Avenger Emblem. And then we're going to combine it with the Eye of the Golem. Should probably make another one while I'm at it, but I need to kill the Wall of Flesh again to get another spare emblem. Um, in which case, should I not make the Sniper Scope? This is actually more damage. 10 damage, 8 crit. 7 damage and crit for ranged only. And then some material and... We're not excited about what it adds in single player. So unless I want to stack it with the sniper scope, uh, uh, stack the destroyer emblem with the sniper scope and or the recon scope, there's actually no reason for, for me to make another one of these. Uh, for me to upgrade this rather just yet. Although, with Mage, I've got one, two, three, um, four, actually, class-specific damage slots. So maybe.
Fantastic. And put this away. Stack the rest. Sell the rest. So, 14% damage, 8% crit. Versus 16% damage. I think this is probably stronger. And if we really wanted to, we could stack even more damage. So now we've done Golem. There was something that I needed Golem dead to unlock, wasn't there? Can't remember what it was. What's post Golem? Besides. Betsy is all I can think of off the top of my head. That is a very... That's a kind of unusual uh, temple as well. Alright, what about a Calamity boss that we haven't killed yet? Unless I want to kill Gollum 6,000 more times looking for Aegis Blade. Leviathan? I just have to hang around the water to find this. The ocean. Um, Astrum Aureus. Oh, that's that thing. Yeah, I'd rather skip it until we're super overpowered for it. It's one of those bosses. Martian Madness? We just haven't seen any Martians yet. But I would love some of their drops for Mage, for a direct damage weapon. Uh, let's see. Betsy. We're actually running out of... No, we're not. <laughs> no, we were running out of things. But we can see that we're not. Sand Shark is yellow also? Sand Shark. Oh yeah, great sand shark. Killed ten sand sharks after defeating Plantera. Was this it? Using or use a sandstorm's core. We can make this. Ectoplasm, hallowed, forbidden. Uh, it's actually all in this chest. Where was it? Maybe I should just pick up those things specifically, so we don't have quite such a long list of stuff that we could craft. You can make a marksman's bow out of just 31 ectoplasm and nothing else? That's weird. Uh, Soggy Waffles, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wooden arrows are converted into jester arrows. Three arrows at once. Interesting. Here it is. Sandstorm's core. And we need to use this in the desert, right? I hope it doesn't care if it's... Uh, hallowed or corrupt. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Did I just get random shadow greens? I did. Isn't that cute? Oh, he does not do cute amounts of damage. And we got a sandstorm as well. Why can't I see him? I do have Potion of Omniscience. He's hard to see under the ground. Oh, he's almost dead. Well, wasn't there some reason I wanted to come to the desert when there was a sandstorm earlier? Oh, I think it was for shark fins, but then I checked and realized everything that we would normally, uh, 
Okay, not everything. Well, yeah, everything we would normally consistently spend shark fins on. Uh, we can just buy in Calamity, so there's no need to worry about it. A tiny mini boss, yeah. I'm guessing it's probably not that difficult even if you fight it at a level appropriate time, right? Where's our bag? Did we not get a bag for it? I guess it really is just a mini boss. Loot and collection. We should have a relic. Did I... did I miss it somehow? Ouch. It actually deals tons of damage. Ow. Holy crap. Give me some health. Nope, I guess not. Where's the loot bag? Oh, he just dropped stuff. Wait, what? Random Great Sand Shark? Alright. Be a little bit more careful this time. He looks kind of goofy, honestly. And then we got a random hive mind in the middle of the desert. There's the health that I wanted. Alright. Ouch. Did we pick up all the stuff? Mind Relic, Desert Key, Great Sand Shot Trophy. I'm not seeing the treasure bag. I guess there is no treasure bag. Great Sand Shark Relic. Um, no? Am I never going to get the relic? Grand scale. Oh, we can upgrade the Avenger emblem and shark tooth necklace. Increases armor pen by 10, 6% increased damage, and it's still a material. And depth cells, tenebris, luminel. We might have this stuff, possibly. It's rare. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. That's... In fact, that's the first thing I've seen, modded or not, that drops a relic randomly uh, instead of giving it to you in a goodie bag, guaranteed. That's stack things. Oh, is this our first Dark Shards? I wanted to make the Onyx Blaster. We've got a shotgun lying around somewhere. Ten Souls of Night. I know it's, uh... I know it's obsolete at this point, but it's also a material. Where is that shotgun? I could just buy it. Here it is. Boomstick? No? I think it has to be shotgun specifically. 
as opposed to Boomstick. Or Tactical Shotgun, for that matter. Maybe I'll just buy it. Maybe that's what I decided before. Shotgun. And then... Onyx Blaster. Material. We need Luminite Bar and Chain Gun. Okay. I guess I'll just stick it in with the Chain Gun. Bye bye. Take care, Soggy Waffle. Uh, Soggy Waffles. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Where should I put this? Grand Scale. Hard Mode Calamity. Materials. And... Boss Slug says... Next is Leviathan. Should we try and find the Leviathan before we finish today? Probably. All right, let's try. Do I have no feathers? Oh, okay. Um, so it doesn't matter what time of day it is. I've only seen her appear at night, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Boss Log says... Uh, spawn info. This boss has no spawn... Item. Oh, I misread it. Killing an unknown entity in the ocean biome. I've only seen that appear at night. So maybe it does need to be night time. I can't exactly go after the Empress of Light during the day. We could try and fail horribly to kill Betsy, because we just don't have the damage. Ravager. That looks unpleasant. Use a death whistle. Lizard brick and solar tablet fragment. Well, I can at least make the summoning item for that. Uh, lizard brick. Solar fragment. Solar Tablet Frag. Death Whistle. And then... I guess it doesn't matter if it's daytime or whatever. Let's, let's have a peek at this boss, at least. I might run away from it based on how high it is on the list. Um, it's, it's shooting walls at me. Well, it says it's invincible. Do I have to get closer? It's taking damage. I mean, there's damage numbers, but the boss bar says it's invincible. I see lots of different little hit point bars on it. So I guess just its main body isn't taking damage yet? Oh, oh, that did a lot. Okay. I kind of want to try and kill it. But I'm sure it's going to pull some... I'm sure it's going to pull something out of its butt. At like... 60% health or something. Ow. I wish I could see how much damage I'm doing. Oh, quite a lot actually, and I paid dearly for peeking. 
Um, how about we fly away? And see if we can find time to heal. Okay, that just spawned directly behind me while I was in motion. That's cool. That seems fair. All right, it is, what, five minutes short. I don't know what to do with five minutes in Terraria, though. It's about time to wrap up the stream. Let's do this quest real quick. Uh, Spiderfish, Underground, and Caverns. And we'll find someone to raid. Uh, this little fishing spot should work. Oh, what are you selling? Martian Distress Beacon summons the Martian Madness? Hell yeah. We'll do that first thing tomorrow. Let's grab some bait. And fishing stuff. Oh, I actually do have the means to prevent fishing line from breaking now. It's a bit of a nuisance to swap it out, though. Can we get our quest fish? Pretty please? No? Was it called Spiderfish? Does this count as underground and caverns, or does it have to be... I think I should probably go over here, so it's not hollow. Let me through. Oh, I even have a peace candle here. There we go. Um, I don't know why it doesn't go into the void bag, the quest fish. And we got mine carp. What did he do? This is fine. Alright, we'll continue tomorrow. Uh, maybe actually kill the Empress of Light. I'll have to farm for some... Uh, what are they called? Uh, prismatic lace wings so that I can attempt it more than once before we do that. Uh, but for now, let's see who's streaming Terraria. Revengeance too hard. That might be an option. Revengeance is calamity, right? It's Terraria time. Uh, first Calamity mod in Terraria. First time Calamity. Perfect. Let's do that. I'll just double check that they don't have their chat blocked or something. All right, seems good. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. We'll continue with Calamity tomorrow. And after that, uh, a couple of days later, we'll be doing Oxygen Not Included. See you next time, guys. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Um.
Team. 